Okay, guys. Brimstone. Brimstone. Big yawn. Pet the brim. The brim has been petted. There is a bungee stream today. It starts in about 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Oh, my alert's been muted. One moment. I must unmute them. They should be unmuted now. Welcome, everybody. Do I like Amogus? I have nothing against Amogus. Almost four years. Man, it feels like yesterday Shadow Keep came out. Telling me. You are telling me. Yeah, we got the final live stream today. Um, bit of a short week from, from your boy. Uh, we have a stream today. We have a stream tomorrow. And then I am again out of town this weekend. Um, but we will be back for Into the Light. The whole week, full throttle. Uh, so... Don't you worry. But yeah, we're out this week. Uh, Danielle's friends uh, just had a baby. And so we're going to visit them for a couple of days. So. Wonderful day, Guardian. Hope they have the stream go for another 30 minutes again. I think they are. I'm pretty sure they are. I am super close on on mine, so like I'm good. It's not Jez. It's not anyone in the in the content creator world. So don't even bother guessing. It's nobody that you guys would know. I am here for the cringe. Wonderful day, Guardian. It's nobody that y'all would know. So, uh, MD Prove with the seven months. Happy Tuesday. Hope all is well. Yeah, the week, week kind of started like shit. I'm not going to lie. Um, yesterday, uh, YouTube took down my fire stunts video for like six hours. <clears throat> but the problem with that is that the clock is still ticking when it comes to the analytics and the metrics and the algorithm when my video was taken down. So after six hours, I finally got it restored with no issues. But by then, the damage had already been done. And uh, it was not appearing in many feeds so i had to kind of spam everywhere to alert people to the fact that this video was here um day, it's uh, slightly recovered since then but uh i'm just pretty pretty bummed about it because i thought it would be another day, really fun like spontaneous we kind of so viral right. moment uh kind of viral moment day, and uh I spent, I mean, we spent an entire weekend filming it, and I spent a lot of time editing it, 
and the green screen and the this and the that and all for YouTube just be like hey so we know that you uploaded this video ahead of time to make sure that it would Love be clear and uh, yeah actually uh, it turns out it's not it's not clear and we're only gonna tell you as soon as the video goes live and by the way if you try to re-upload it we're probably just gonna flag it again so I can't even I couldn't even re-upload it Because the exact same thing would happen. Loving the content. So I was uh, pretty, pretty, pretty bummed. Pretty much all day yesterday. I got barely anything done yesterday. Um, so I was I was feeling quite shite about spending all that time. All the time and all that money <laughs> trying to get this thing made and the whole trip that we did and blah 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 and like I don't even care about it not making any money I yeah whatever it was mainly like a big growth potential moment for the channel and then it just so yeah it was for the fire video so when Danielle got lit on fire um When Danielle got lit on fire, that's when the video got flagged. Day, oh god. How are you Intimidate feeling after the Apex tournament? I hope tournament. you are doing better today and thanks for your influence on Destiny. Have a nice day. Um Oh yeah, the Apex tournament, Jesus. Um, yeah, so, so basically YouTube saw someone get lit on fire and they were like, fire bad, especially when on people. And I'm like, YouTube, I'm not going to argue with you, but this was in, this is with like trained professionals and everything, you know, it's pretty safe. And they were like, we don't care. And then I was like, here's the thing though, is that Tom Scott has a video doing exactly the same thing arguably in a less safe manner and his video is live it is not taken down what say you and youtube's like ooh, all right you got us we'll put the video back up and i was like okay cool thanks even though you already kind of screwed me appreciate that though so So, yeah, pretty bummed about that, especially since I don't have, like, another big video like that coming anytime soon, so. Unfortunate. And then, yeah, the Apex Tournament last, like, last week's streams were ass. They were bad. And then Monday was bad. So, it's just not been the greatest week. <laughs> so, I'm trying to bounce back. I'm trying to bounce back, but it's uh, it's tough because it's Iron Banner today. So, you know. <laughs> you know, the struggle continues. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> The struggle continues so we'll have a couple streams this week i'll hopefully use this weekend to kind of reset and uh we'll come into into the light pretty sure did they say if there's gonna be a seal or a title for uh for into the light Wonderful day, Guardian. hi i'm here for the cring you're here for the cring checking, checking, checking. you're in the right place yeah, I don't think they've said anything. I would love for there to be a seal. Love you, Dato Smooches. Smooches. Dat top. Wonderful day, Guardian. Something I'm hoping to get done 
before I go is this video that uh, that we talked about last week where it's like a, hey, I'm coming back to Destiny, what should I know video, but it's under 30 minutes long. So it's just like hyper fast, big pieces of information. If I, if I work tonight, I should be able to get it done. So, um, let's thank some, so I'm going to run the ad break literally, uh, like two minutes and 30 seconds before the stream, uh, actually begins. So that way, as soon as we come out of the ad break, uh, the stream will start. Um, for now, I'm going to thank some subs really quick. Um, we have Gamer TM with the 68. Thank you very, very much for the 68 months. Uh, Valkyrie Crab with five months. Welcome back. Uh, Cheeky Mon a Cheeky Monkey also with five months. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Scratchy Bum, hi, with a prime sub. Thank you very much for profit, uh, for profit, for priming. Uh, Is Luna with 17. Any other teenage subs here? Actually, well, technically, uh, no, actually, no, there's not. You're the only teenage sub. Thank you very much. 17 months. Uh, Xerox with the 54. Umolino with 50. Thank you both for the 50s there. Man with the Golden Gun, 51. Nitro, also 51. Thank you, everyone, for the 50s. Crimson the Lion with 46. Shim Shady with 47. Cloud with a 42. Yeah, the Apex Tournament, I shouldn't have been there. I should not have been in that Apex Tournament. Absolutely should not have. Prime sub Bezos box coming in hot data pot. Plus data pot plus. And here's the thing. And here's the thing is that the person like that I have a, like my, my Twitch contact was like, here's what's up. Like I could tell him like, you're just, you could just bail. Like, you just bail. I'm like, no, I got this. I got Can't this. And I was like, I should have bailed. <laughs> I should have bailed. Oh man. Friend within 23 months, J Cannon 22 months, Jambit 23 months. A lot of you coming up on two years of subbing. BD Dragon with 30. Uh, Solution with 33. We have a lot of uh, under one year subbers. Thank you. Uh, like the Penguin the Strong with 11. Cyax with 11. Johnny Azarus with 11. DeMarco with 11. Oh, wait. Oh, my That's 111 months from DeMarco and the Tier 2. Thank you, DeMarco, for 111 months. Massive. We also have UK Han, 9 months. I'm pretty sure that's not how I say your name. I could be wrong. I feel like we've had this conversation. But remind me. The Detective, three months. Uh, Eat'em Up Tigers, also three months. Ronnie Carter, four months. Itzker, or maybe Itzker. Maybe that, maybe that last, the, the, that's an L, that, it's Itzkerl. It's curl. Let me know. Seven months. Uh, Rise with the 65. Edward with 20. Chase with... Uh, 59, Tunaraxis with 36, The Thundercrack with 4, Jur122 with a freshie. Thank you very much for the freshie. Apollo with 27, Wonderful. The Thanks Sneaky God. Pigo with uh, 20 months, otherwise known as Brim, who is not here right now. Where did he go? You back in your kennel? Oh, you're back in the kennel? Oh, hi, Brim's Wonderful home. Day, oh, hi, buddy. Oh, we're back in the kennel, Brim. Hi, Brimstone. Um, sea Wolf with the 22. Papa Rift with Wolf. 16. Endgame with 13. Medusa with 7. We have Strawberry Kiwi Danimals with 10 gifted subs. That's a lot. That is a lot of gifted from Strawberry Kiwi Danimals. Thank you very, very much. That is insanely, insanely generous of you to do. And we have Yeetster with 20 gifted. Thank you very much, Yeetster, 
for the 20 gifted subs. Yet again. If you just got gifted sub, be sure to thank the proper authorities. And we have Decaying with 3 months and Tiberius with 105 months with a TTS that did not come through. I'm guessing because you said the word shit. I could be wrong. But you know what? I'm not the most mad about it because you used Kona, And I hate the Kona voice. I hate it a lot. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think it's because you. I I don't think you can swear in the TTS. I think the moment you swear, it just like doesn't work. It's pronounced Yukon. Okay, okay. I I was like, hey, at least I remembered that we had the conversation. That for me, that's a big step. For me, that's a big step. Thanks, Cromerax. Um, all right, I'm going to run the ad break in about uh, one minute here, just so we can, like, as soon as the stream starts, the ads are done. We got random people joining on me now. I got to back out. I got to back out of here. What is today's topic? Uh, I think they're talking about a couple of exotic mishes that are coming back. Wonderful day, Guardian. Okay, finally re-downloaded Destiny after about a year. What did I miss? Well, Kai360 Flame, I'll have a video going over those things. Oh yeah, and PvP maps. Alright, I'm playing the ad right now. Boink! So that way we are... Uh, good to go. And we disable pre-rolls. Just gonna chill in orbit. Oh, we're getting pretty close to, uh, to actually having to start bounty prep. Huh. A couple weeks. Couple of weeks. All right, let me get their stream rocking and rolling here. Hide you guys. Oop. And I'm sure I have some text. Maybe I don't. Wonderful day, Guardian. Div stream time. Okay, boom. Let's put that there for about a minute here before we get started. Here we go. I'm also going to mute TTS during the presentation. Um, and I'm also going to not read subs until after the presentation, as we are starting momentarily. Kai 360, 89, Orals 187, some big 80s, and uh, Zeta Phantom with a primer. Thank you very much for priming. Morning, Sammy. Would I care if they got rid of the ability to bounty prep? I would love if they completely purged the ability to bounty prep. I hate bounty prep. I hate it literally so much. Literally, if Bounty Prep died, nobody would care.
All right, we are starting. We got, I think we're starting in like 10 seconds, y'all. Let me get, let me get up a little notepad here. There we go. Hello, everyone, right on time. and welcome back. It's good to see y'all. Welcome to our third of three developer live streams to talk about all the cool stuff coming up with Destiny 2 Into the Light. Uh, my name's Andy. I work on the social media team here at Bungie, and we've got an awesome set of, of uh, topics to go ahead and cover today. But first things first, we want to win it. wanted to go ahead and remind you guys of one clarification we made. For starters, all of the weapons in the Brave Arsenal will now be releasing on April 30th. So just as a quick reminder, all of that weapon, all those weapons will be available for you to farm over the course of Onslaught. Uh, there's many ways with which you can go about it. For starters, obviously, you can go ahead and attune yourself to a weapon. So whether you want to go ahead and grab that recluse that you've had your eye on for so long, you've got the opportunity to go ahead and do that uh, over the course of Onslaught. Uh, Streams a little also, quiet. there's going to be the chest up by Shax as well. So you can go ahead and farm some additional rolls there. But worry not, you'll have plenty of chances to dive in, grab the weapons you want, whether it be through our site's quest lines or otherwise, uh, those opportunities will be wide open and available. But we have a whole new go. set of topics to discuss today, uh, including some reprise exotic missions, a look at the PvP map pack, and a couple more details at the end that we'll go ahead and share with you in just a bit. Uh, but as usual, it won't just be me talking through it. So let's go ahead and tell you about the wonderful folks I have here just to my left, some incredible developers here at Bungie. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with the gentleman here to my left, friend of the show, one and only Mr. Tom Farnsworth, senior design leader here at Bungie. Tom, welcome back. I'm back, I keep bringing me back. I know, it's, come on, you're the best. We, can't, we couldn't possibly <laughs> let you go. No, I, I, of course, I'm the creative lead for Into the Light, yeah. but we're yeah, really here to talk about all the great work the team has done and these individuals here uh, with us today. Yeah. And we're going to talk about some exotic missions, yes. uh, some rewards associated with them, uh, and some PvP stuff. So let's let's dive in. Let's yeah. let's talk to everybody else here. Great stuff. We also have now sitting just next to Tom as well. We have Rob Adams, one of the art directors here at Bungie, uh, and kind of the person who come up with Adams. the concept and of Into the Light. Rob, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Excited Absolutely. to be here. Yeah, no, it's good to have you. We have a lot of fun stuff. We were talking before the show about a lot of cool stuff. We'll have plenty of fun details to dive into here in just a little bit. Uh, and of course, the one and only Willie Chang, activity designer here at Bungie. Uh, how you doing, Willie? Good morning. I'm doing well. Uh, for the folks at home that may not be familiar with you or your work, uh, what do you do here at Bungie, if you don't mind my asking? I'm an activity designer uh, for Into the Light. I worked on the Zero Hour Reprise. Excellent. Well, with that, we uh, we may as well start diving into the show at hand. We have a lot of cool stuff to start with. Uh, in addition to, like we mentioned, some awesome reprise exotic missions, including the Whisper and Zero Hour, which will both uh, feature, pardon me, craftable versions of each weapon. <laughs> but let's go ahead and start at the top with the Whisper. Uh, we've had a chance to go ahead and kind of pull back the curtain and look behind the scenes a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and start from the very top. Uh, Rob, you were there when it all started. Why did Bungie make the Whisper to begin with? Well, I think in the first few months of D2, I want to say like the first three to five months, we felt like there weren't enough secrets in the game. It felt like the game was pretty well known, mm -hmm. you know, and, and kind of like discovered. Mm -hmm. And it just needed some big secret to be found by the players. And we thought that that would excite uh, our community quite a bit. Like, it would, it would just go over really well. And we, it did. We hoped it would, <laughs> at least. Yeah. And we had all this nostalgia for the Vault of Glass and Black Spindle. I mean, one day we were just sitting in a conference room and we're like, what if we just made another Black Spindle mission, but we made it a lot bigger, Yeah. right? Yeah. Speaking of, uh, we've got here on screen uh, kind of some, if we can call it as such, yeah. original concept art, uh -huh. you'd say, for the Whisper? Yeah, it's concept Jeez. art. Yeah, can you tell us a little bit about what we're looking at here? Uh, so, well, that's actually the very first whiteboard drawing when we got all excited and we ran and found a conference room and we started, you know, drawing what this could do, yeah. what we would want to build. And really, this kind of shows some of the magic uh, formula, you know, like we, we had a, a contract, really, that we, we called it a contract. And, <laughs> and this was an unspoken agreement between us as devs and the hardcore, super engaged players. Yeah. And it really was, if you can pass a test where your mind is going to be tested, mm -hmm. your fighting, right? Yeah. Uh, is going to be tested, and you're going to be able to pass these tests, right? Yeah. Your movement, your mind, your fighting. Yeah. If you can get past these tests, you're going to be rewarded with great power. Yeah. And that was the contract. And so one of the other things we did, and you can see it up here in the uh, upper left, yeah. is there's a little crack, and then the path continues. Yeah. And that, you know, that's the red herring. And so we thought, well, rather than lead players by the nose and have a bunch of narrative and 
and make it really obvious what you're supposed to do. Yeah. What if they get into this mysterious place and they don't know what to do? Mm -hmm. And when they go down the path that they think Novel is right, concept. it's not. Yeah. You know, and they go blazing right past the actual opening. Yeah. And so we knew that that, or we, we were pretty confident that that was going to appeal to the hardcore players because once they learned the path, right. they could then bring their friends in and show them, and then we would have the videos, you yeah. know, with the walkthroughs, and it, it would just appeal to. Yeah. to As they let their friends go first that mm -hmm. first time to watch yeah. them fall off the yeah, edge yeah, yeah. helplessly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, exactly. <clears throat> also, too, is you know to kind of focus a little bit more on the art direction as well. well. Feel so awkward. Uh, I think to uh, put it really feel that awkward. The, the vibe in the whisper is pretty intense. Can you tell us what it was like, kind of imagining that space and bringing it to life? Yeah, well, we went, we wanted this like intense mystery vibe, right? Oh, the mystery really of, right at the start. I'm on I'm on IO and I found this place that I've never seen. I well, didn't know this is concept yeah. art. But and where does it literally go? It. Right, and that mystery, and also the feeling of dread. Yeah, and, and so yeah, a lot of that. yeah, and and it's easy to get a vibe if you listen to one type of music, for example. Right. So we were watching Stranger Things and listening to the soundtrack, and I got really into you know building this this traversal puzzle, it has a really consistent vibe because it was just one type of music that was listened to for the this is like whole thing. Yeah. Speaks to my around hot fan yeah, yeah. inside, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> the six year uh, also anniversary. Also, we've got uh, another picture as well the of the, uh, the infamously titled ago. Green Room as well. Um, there was a really cool anecdote you had kind of about the development process of this. What was it like bringing this kind of very iconic, I guess I'd say, Destiny Room to life? Yeah, well, this, this is funny because there was this thing that we wanted to try, right? Mm -hmm. make, a, make a room that has a trap in the center that if you mess up, you end up going down the trap and you, you get punished for it. And yeah. when you get out, you end up back in the room. And it just happens again and again and again. And there's all these different ways that you try to find your way out of this room. Right. So the test was to make a tiny version of this, like one quarter scale. And we brought it into the playtest lab. Yeah. We had Cosmo and Dylan. We had a bunch of our testers and designers in there. Yeah. And I just waited, right? And I waited to, for someone to find the hidden shortcut, right? Like what would happen when they, what's gonna happen when they find that hidden shortcut? Yeah. And so the first person that found it, they just screamed and started laughing and then everybody started finding it. And based on that reaction, we knew we had something good and then it got scaled up into what you see here and back to the vibe thing again. Yeah. When this got built, all I did was listen to Black Sabbath, the first six albums, like over and over. Yeah. <laughs> so it just has that really, really consistent vibe all the way through. And that's just a, a trick that the whole yeah. team uses to get uh, a theme yep. or a vibe oh, to right, be we have, consistent. We're going to go ahead also too and start jumping the activity so we can see this uh, this vibe up close and personal as well. But uh, uh oh, here we are. We're we're back in the whisper as well. Uh, really quickly too, off the top, um, <clears throat> Willie. Me? When it comes to you know bringing these encounters okay. forward, bringing them to the modern era of Destiny, Time what were some of the bigger challenges that you'd say you have to minutes. overcome in order to make sure that they were fitting for today's sandbox? Yeah, so sandbox-wise, players nowadays pack a lot more power than they did before. Uh, people can clear entire rooms of ads from these activities back when uh, they were in their original state, Yeah, um, just like extremely quickly. So we had to beef up the number of combatants that are in these encounters, and uh, later on I might talk more about uh, additional tuning that I've done on them. Totally, yeah, yeah, we can come back to that in a second, but uh, I think also too, really quickly, you know, back in the day, there was a, a very bespoke way of getting into the Whisper. You had yeah. to kind of hang out on IO, wait for this mysterious portal to come up, yep. um, but we've, we've made some changes to that as well, I think you were mentioning before we hopped on the air. Oh yeah, I mean, I was a victim of it, right? We had the public event with the RNG, and you right. had to wait for the right one, and you yeah. know, one, one time I tried to take a coworker through on a Saturday, and yeah. we spent like seven hours just yeah. trying to get a few runs because of, because of the public event. And right. Right. And that we just had to change that, right? Mm. And the team was excited about having True a new, new benefactor, a new character. It's like 20 you, minutes. You go and talk to last so time. you'll be talking to Eris Morn. Eris Morn is going to tell you some really cool stuff. I don't want to give it away. Smart. Yeah. But you know, you're not going to have to deal with the, the frustrating uh, trigger to get in anymore. Excellent. Mm -hmm. well, that's always good to hear. Giving a chance, especially you know, if people are going to come come back in here multiple times as yeah. they kind of build up their their craftable exotics. I mean, that makes sense. They Obviously, were gonna, again, component. lock it to the same uh, thing. Also, too, is you know, I think it's it's worth mentioning yeah, that, it could be that a dev this is this has undergone more changes than just the combat landscape. Yeah. Uh, for the veteran players who are coming in here, folks like myself that have mm -hmm. maybe kind of had a lot of this committed to memory, um, how have you gone ahead and made sure that it's fresh for those veteran guardians out there? Yeah, well, the the, the goal was, how is this going to be exactly what you just said, right? Like, if, I, if I've played this 10, 15, 20 times, I've guided people through, maybe I've, I've made a video about how to get through here, how's it going to speak to me, 
right? Like, right. what's going to be cool for me to go in and do it again? And, and that was the goal that the team had. And it, when we knew we were going to do this, I made my own list, right? Yeah. Like, I was like, we're going to change this, we're going to move that, we're going to... And I was really excited about it. Yeah. So, Tom, so Tom was in this meeting. So we, I show up, and there's like you know, 15, 20 people. Mm -hmm. And they presented Your this whole plan. Is cheating. And I had my list all this ready to so go, cheating. and I was going to wait. I was going to listen to all the proposal and everything, and then yeah. start giving <laughs> ideas and stuff. And when they finally finished presenting this plan for how to update this thing, I just deleted my list because it was <laughs> like it was way bigger and way cooler than anything that I'd come up with. Yeah, it was just so neat to see like a fresh take on it. So, if you think you know where the chests are, if you think you know where all the secrets are, if you think you know where all the surprises are, yeah. you don't because they're different. All those old guides and all the old walkthroughs—they're going to have to be remade. Even though I'll just give one away. When you first get in, there's that first secret chest room on the right. Right. Yeah. The anomaly has taken care of that. It's not there anymore. Anomaly has yeah. taken care of it. So more surprises. <laughs> to the to the Steam guide writers, to the game facts writers, to mm. the folks making their YouTube videos, a revision two is going to be in order sometime soon. Oh yeah. By the sounds of it. Yeah. That's really exciting. Uh, also, too, is is um, you know, concern. are there They're any other the whole changes damn mission that you guys right are now. particularly excited about when it comes to the whisper? We're going to move on to zero hour here in a little bit, but um, okay. you know, before we conclude our journey here, uh, Willie, actually on your side, are there any changes in particular that you're excited about with this this updated version? I'm excited about the way that the boss fight has changed yeah. for this activity. Interesting. All right, well, we'll leave that to folks to go ahead and discover on their own uh, when it comes to the launch day of, of the Whisper. But uh, I don't think <clears> yes, this is a first look the uh, for the folks out there who are, are looking to go ahead and make sure that they, they're ready on day one to go ahead and add another craftable exotic into their, their collection. Uh, obviously, the Whisper is going to be there for you, but we don't want to spoil all of it. You'll have it in your hands soon thank enough. You. Thank uh, you. And thank also, you. some folks out there have already had a chance to play it, so we don't want to go ahead and uncover too many of the mysteries. Uh, up next, we've also got, obviously, another iconic one, Zero Hour. Uh, let's start from the top. Can you explain, uh, Rob, the concept behind Trevor? You've obviously got an homage to him on your I have my I have my shirt, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, can you tell us a <laughs> yeah, little bit about what this original concept was? Uh, so, so Trevor was really inspired by this. There's this Japanese game show called Takeshi's Castle, and it's been around a while. And it's great because it has all these physical challenges and a people getting knocked down or you know flipped For over and America stuff and trying to get through things and people out there. And there's just a lot of comparisons to what we try to do in Destiny, and we've we've borrowed from that show and shows like it for a long time for cool ideas. And they have this one bit where the contestants try to get up this hill, and there's this big fake boulder that comes down the hill, <laughs> yeah. right? And there's these little like side uh, rooms, you know, like little pockets that right. they can try to get into. And so we were like, man, if we had something like that in the middle of this mission, that would be amazing, yeah. right? Like, and so we had this thing that we called, there, there it is. Yeah, we got some concept art up on yeah. the screen now. So yeah. we had this thing that we called the hazard for a long time. The hazard is gonna get you, right? And it's gonna come down at you. And on the left, you can see the original whiteboard drawing of what this could look like. <laughs> and there you see the hill with the slots. Yeah. We basically lifted off of Takeshi's castle. Yeah. And then that evolved into what we eventually made as a maze, yeah. right? And then there's the very first drawing of Trevor. And on the right, you can see a concept art by one of our artists named Fan Gao. Mm -hmm. And when I looked at it, it had a bit of a vacuum cleaner look. You know, it didn't quite nail the fear. Sure. You know, which, which yeah. we might talk about in a second here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so then on the far right, you can see the centipede legs and the light God, and the, the final revision. That's pretty close to how Trevor ended up. Yeah, yeah. it definitely it, it feels terrifyingly familiar. Did I some upload my say. first uh, yeah. uh, And I, you I know, I kind did. of while well, we're on the other <laughs> the legs, job, which uh, brings up honestly another great example I'd love to touch on as well is, um, you know, as as a guardian myself, we've we've felt gods. We've fought yeah. some of the most difficult battles in the universe, whether it's against our fellow guardian or or the many foes that set foot inside the solar system. First time exploring Zero Hour Outbreak Perfected, yeah. Uh, when it comes to Trevor in particular, it elicits a very primal, sincere fear. How did you guys kind of elicit that from players who have obviously conquered so much? Well, I think there's this like satisfaction from scaring people that's inherent in everybody. Like yeah. we've all scared somebody. I think at some point it's just super fun, right? Yep. So what could what could we do in Destiny to actually make people feel fear? And, and the team was super excited about how to try to tackle that problem because you're right, right? Like guardians can just jump away and we kill everything and we're just oh, gods. Invisible and dodge killers. away. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, to do it. Yeah. So how do you how do you scare uh, our players in the game, right? So Two the first Trevors. step was drop you in a maze. Yeah. Uh, there's something in there that you cannot kill, 
you can't jump mm -hmm. up because the ceiling is just above your, your head, right? Yeah. So those were the first three things. This thing is faster than you. Yeah. So you know you're in there with something that you can't kill that can go faster than you. And then of course we did the uh, centipede bottom, yeah. which I have this particular phobia. Not a of fan of like, exotics. Why the do fact that, that you took something that is such a fear <laughs> and put it front and center, honestly, like it's yeah. tremendous. Bro, these are like two of the greatest like pieces of this, content that Destiny's ever. This dude takes ever... a giant centipede and lets it bite him on the arm. Why would you do that to yourself? I don't know. I almost passed out like watching this. So I, <laughs> you really that uh, pissed off about having to run? And so I thought the, the bottom of this thing just has to be sideways centipede legs that haven't been that are made out of metal like and just years. grind you up when it catches you. Mm -hmm. And then the final piece of the I don't um, know. Then just don't the get formula it. Formula for this. You don't thing have really to go get it. Both whisper to put and a outbreak. super bright light on it that would are still shine totally as a shadow usable caster as is. across your like you past your body, so it. you can see your own shadow as you're trying to get away. Yeah. And uh, honestly, like a lot of it was inspired by the. Anxiety that I feel, and I think folks on the team also felt God, when we talked about like shields, bro. I the trope them. of a subway that's coming around the corner. Right, right. So you it's see just, that always, finite yeah. just clock running out it's in front coming. of you. It's coming. Yep. Yeah. You see the light coming, and then you see the thing. Yeah. And so that really helped uh, us figure out how to make yeah. this thing as as freaky as this possible. Time, no Indiana Jones laying down on the tracks, hoping for the best here. Yeah, no. Not a chance. Yeah, no. <laughs> Trevor's going to chew you up, obviously. Uh, so also, we're, we found ourselves now. We're in the beginning stages here of the whisper we can see on screen. Um, Willie, we kind of touched on this briefly <laughs> over the course of, uh, of the whisper. Uh, but can you tell us a little bit about what it was like sort of reinventing these combat spaces and these encounters for Guardians in a modern sandbox, especially those that are going to have the brave arsenal available to them? Yeah, so uh, just now you saw a brig in this encounter, uh, which there wasn't one before. Back there? I'm um, guessing this isn't like I think there's, modern there's day. There's the desire to a keep modern day the, representation. It's the soul like of the activity, which is about, out. oh, there's time pressure um, on me to finish this activity quickly, and also I'm uh, going up against powerful enemies that are trying to stop me from doing that. Yeah. Um, so we wanted to make sure that the combat Classic still Quiv felt challenging, even in today's sandbox. Destination so we added some right here. new combatants yeah. to the brig. Um, and we also just increased the number of combatants, Oh, the period. loot bobble failed yeah. to spawn. Um, so that players had more to do with their more diverse <laughs> and deadly like tools. Yeah. <clears throat> Guardians have plenty of those available to them. Uh, when you were developing these combat spaces as, as well, were there any moments where you really thought to yourself, like, all right, this is it. Like, we've really centered in on what was great about this mission originally, but this is going to be appropriately challenging for today's Guardians. Yeah, I think the when we when we play tested it and, uh, you know, we had everybody load up with uh, their like new maneuverability tools, mm -hmm. their swords, their grapples mm -hmm. uh, to go through the activity, and then we Let's were expecting go. that like, oh, people are gonna breeze through this, like it's nothing, like the original 20 minute timer has to uh, become something else, but really all of that translated over pretty well. Like the individual yeah. sections are uh, self-contained enough that like you can't, uh, bypass too many things by just using one new tool. Sure. Um, the whole thing sort of still felt like zero yeah, hour. Absolutely. Yeah. Even with your new toolbox. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Even even with uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump forward here a little bit as well, using our dev tools to take a look at Trevor as well. So for the folks out there that want to reinstill that fear in themselves, now's a brief chance to check it out. <laughs> uh, also, too, is we're in a world where you know there's strand grapples, there's shatter skating. Uh, when it came to kind of redesigning these activities or even making, I guess, alterations more appropriately on these activities, um, you know, with one like Trevor, for example, what was the challenge that you kind of had to overcome with those new movement tools in addition to the combat tools that players have available to them? Yeah, I guess uh, philosophically, I want to make sure that if people were specking into being highly maneuverable, then I honored that choice and say, yeah, you're highly maneuverable. Like maybe you're in this hallway with Trevor uh, I don't want to be ground up by these centipede legs, so I'm going to sword skate through this so that I can have a little bit of speed on Trevor. Um, but like, you know, you still can't invalidate the challenge entirely. Trevor will still kill you if you mistime those. Mm. So they're just like different expressions of how you want to tackle these challenges, and none of those expressions like fully throw these challenges out the window. Yeah, actually something too that I'm seeing pop up in chat here uh, is the mention of the timer. So for starters, there's also, this is normal difficulty yes. in the social legend, isn't that right? Uh, yeah, Tom, can you tell us a little bit about like any updates to the timers in these missions as well? So uh, 
and Willie, feel free to have him correct me if I'm wrong, but on normal, it's 40 minutes because we want to give players a little bit extra time, especially sure. if you're new. We want right. this to be accessible. Everyone get in there and get the, 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 the experience. But a lot of our kind of like, uh, like quests, content, and secrets are in the legend version, which has a 20 minute timer. Yes, right? there you go. Yep. Interesting. Okay, perfect. All right, thank you, chat. Uh, in addition to you know these these other updates you've made, are there anything or any any changes you've made in particular that you're excited about that you're comfortable talking about it here? Right, or I'm is fine it just with that. A, you want players to dive in and find out for themselves? Keep yeah, it easy for the, 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 for the so the whole secret setup make sure it's for zero hour is different for the legend um, version. So you know, previously That's we fine. had key cards; those have been replaced by another secret system that you'll just have to find out more about for Perfect. yourself. <laughs> and you know, I'm also proud of the boss fight in this That's activity. right, yeah, we'll hold that one close to the vest. Players will have a chance mm -hmm. to see that on their own and see Willie's hard work uh, in person very soon. Uh, now, as we mentioned at the top of the show as well, there's gonna be craftable versions of these exotics and we're gonna check them out. But there was one more example uh, that I wanted to ask you about, Rob, in particular. Uh, there was some discussion briefly about the acronym that is Trevor. Can you tell us what that stands for? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you, but yeah. I, had to, I had to open my phone because it's like impossible to remember this. <laughs> it, we, got, we all have our yeah. notes. Yeah, it's part of the game. <clears throat> so, yeah. So early on, the team, we re we just realized we had to figure out an acronym for this because we loved the name Trevor because it was paradoxical. Mm -hmm. I went to school with a kid named Trevor who was the nicest kid in the entire school, <laughs> just nice to everybody to yeah. call, right? So I always thought like Trevor is just the nicest name, and so paradoxically, here's this evil thing named Trevor, and we thought it was hilarious. <laughs> But Sorry. once we alphanumericized, is that a word? Yeah. Once we made that, we had to come up with the acronym. So the one that I had was Tracking Robotic Three Vectored Reducer. Because <laughs> it reduces, right, Tom? It's like it reduces you, yeah. Uh, but that was our internal acronym. Yeah. And so when we went to GuardianCon and did, we did like a, a fly through or like a walk through. Yeah. Um, and so we, uh, the community team, uh, thought that we should let the fans of GuardianCon yeah. decide what the actual acronym for Trevor was. And so we had like the five different examples and my tracking robotic was in there. Oh right? yeah. It was one of the things, I was like, please pick <clears throat> mine, please pick mine. Yeah. And so at the end, <clears throat> what they decided on, and they decided by loud applause, and it was like very obvious ah. this is what they wanted. The committee had Oh yeah, it's like very obvious. Yeah. What they decided on was Tame Relaxed Triple Vac Roommate. <laughs> so that's the official name for Trevor. That's it, it's codified. Acronym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or... yeah. Thank you very much the, the, to the denizens of GCX. Thank you very much for your hard work and letting us know uh, exactly what yeah. Trevor should be called. That's, that's really cool. I wish I'd been there for that. Uh, okay, now we're taking a quick look uh, at the craftable exotics as well. We're gonna go ahead and start with Whisper of the Worm. Mm -hmm. uh, Tom, right. can you tell us a little bit about what, you know, players who are kind of go, gonna go ahead and facilitate their own play style or wanna build a Whisper all to their own, what are they gonna have to look forward to with all this? Yeah, even before we get into the, the crafting, like, I, like I've got my notes here from Chris Proctor, so. You're the I'm man himself. Grow. Yeah, he's <laughs> right. sitting on my shoulder, helping me out here. Um, and we wanted to retain the, the fantasy of both these weapons, of both of Whisper and of Outbreak. And, and you know, Whisper, it's about, it's a hard hitting precision weapon where you're in yeah. the backfield. Like, and if you land your crits, you're rewarded and you can sustain a ton of damage on a, on a boss or enemies with a large critical. Area. Ogres will be felled. O ogres will be felled. The servitors. Stand oh, no don't chance. stand a chance. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then with outbreak, it's the fantasy is all about spreading the, the plague of S Siva nanites. Certainly. Um, and we'll be able to get to that in a, in a minute. Right. But so I think we're looking at Whisper right now. Yeah. So specifically with Whisper um, and and outbreak for both of them with both these crafted weapons, they'll both have a, a craftable barrel, uh, magazine, traits, and stock options. Um, the barrel and magazine options will let you like really push the stats around. Mm -hmm. um, like so, you'll be able to have like a max stability whisper if you want. Yeah. Um, which was like you know really advantageous for a weapon that's about this like hitting Worst repeated critical hits certainly uh, in an area. Um, and then specifically for the perks on whisper and the, both the perks on whisper and outbreak are things that by engaging in our secrets week over week and in both of these exotic missions, uh, you'll just... be able to unlock them. Um, Lightness. And Whisper, it starts off with Mulligan, uh, which is the, the classic perk where if you miss your shots, they get refunded. Mm -hmm. But if you uh, upgrade it, you can get field prep, which will give you more shots, which equals more damage. Yeah. Uh, and then there's no distractions, which will allow you to you know uh, keep uh, under under fire, hold your aim on your target better. Right. And there's also enlightened action, which is for more forgiving reloads. So there's, I think a lot of options for players of different play styles and different skill levels Perfect. there. Yeah. Um, and then yeah. just the kind of the cherry on top there with Whisper okay, that. is that it's getting a reserves bump. 
So it's going to go from oh, that's right. 18 uh, in reserve to 24 in reserve. Uh, so you're going to have a ton of ammo to be, just like make it a sustained damage monster, yeah. uh, which is, is, is super exciting. So ultra precise okay. players like myself who never miss a shot <laughs> will have even more. Why are you guys laughing? Why are you? I'm <laughs> sorry. Why is that funny? Uh, no, that's really exciting. We also so we have Whisper of the Worm yep. uh, in addition to Outbreak Perfected now joining yep. the pool of craftable exotic weapons. Uh, let's take a quick look at Outbreak as well while we're here hanging out in the Enclave. Um, Tom, kind of, you know, second verse, same as the first, same question. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the perks and updates that players will have available to them with uh, their options to craft out Break Perfected? Yep, and so in addition to barrels and mags, it has uh, its, its classic outlaw perk is back. So you get your fast reloads on final blows, which works which really well about yeah, without break. That. It's all about also landing precision hits to, 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 to either uh, spawn nanites or to kill enemies and spawn nanites and spread that SIVA energy yeah, around. Spread the plague. Spread the plague. Um, and then the, the second one, though, that we've at, we're added here is rapid hit, which yeah, plays right rapid into that. Hit. So like you, you land your precision and shots, you get rounds. more stability, you get I faster knew reloads. They were going to put uh, Hit Seeker on this thing. Another new I one is rewind. Knew it, uh, re I knew it. Uh, rewind rounds. It's hard for me to say. Fast, yeah. yeah, try it out. <laughs> yeah, uh, which refills your reserves At least it's from, good uh, now for like PvP, to minimize your reload. So like if you're hitting shots, you're just gonna keep getting more ammo, which yeah. is really a kind of interesting. Uh, Rabbit hit perpetual motion nice. machine. No perpetual yeah. death machine. Yeah, it's like do you want? Yeah, do you want the reloads? Or you just want to keep shooting. Those yeah. Um, Rabbit hits. And then there's also a head seeker, which I think maybe for PvP or for certain for certain play styles where like you're, you're less you know. Focus on your critical shots. That's, that's something Yo, to think about as well. Right. Do you want to um, in terms of catalysts, I don't know. Um, if cares? you already have them, just don't yeah. play them. Golden, you can craft know. those. If you don't, you play the legend version of Whisper and Zero Hour, and you'll have a chance to get them. Very close. So that's still like, in there. And then, as I mentioned, here, for man. unlocking these these new intrinsic perks here? that you can just slot in, it'll yeah. be like a three week. Uh, mini quest line I'll, I'll that handle. rolls into the secrets for each of these. And Whisper is coming at launch with End of Light, and Zero Hour is coming in May. Perfect, okay. So yeah. it'll be a chance to go ahead and sink your teeth into Zero Hour for I a while before you go ahead and change your attention and May. start unlocking another, another uh, one of the, the storied exotics of April. old. Yeah. Uh, also, it's worth mentioning that there are more than just the craftable weapons available as rewards in these missions. There's some oh, tried God. and true ships. Now, we were talking a little bit about this earlier, but as someone who still to this day wears a thousand wings. You and me. Yeah, yeah like yeah. We, we, we know the feeling of getting that ship and finally having that I was there moment. Uh, the ships are making a return as well, isn't that correct? Yeah. Whisper ship. Okay, so for, for both Whisper and for Zero Hour, mm -hmm. um, they're they're coming back. Is it the exact same ship, or are there going to be changes on them? No, these are actually new assets, right? They're, they're new ships, so yeah. they won't be the same. They won't they won't sit in the same spot in your inventory, mm. and they are updated to look really cool and new. And I think they're exciting, especially the we took the old scrap drifter ship that yeah. was, I think. Uh, Oh, Not really loved particularly by the community. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was it was literally scrapped together from spare parts to right. get built, and so we did a really nice pass on that. So it um, it's inspired by the look of Outbreak Perfected, and I, I think it looks great. I think the community is going to love it. Yeah. And then we have the Whisper Ship, a Thousand Wings. Uh, it's got a new design, uh, so I mean, you'll still have your old Thousand Wings. Classic. Mm -hmm. And. If you have that equipped, players are going to know that you're OG and that mm -hmm. you got it back in the day. Oh, yeah. And the new one is going to look like the new one, so there won't be any mistaking the old one for the new one. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So for the players who want to go ahead and continue to build up their collections, yeah. there's a chance to go ahead and dive back in. Yeah. Maybe they weren't there originally, but they yeah. want to go ahead and join the Thousand Wings Club to a degree. Nano exactly. Phoenix. Excellent. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah. there'll be a chance to go ahead and I'd unlock want, those. I wouldn't want uh, unlock just those as well. Nano Phoenix to um, come back. Excellent. Well, I think we are actually about at the point of the show. We're going to go ahead and get ready to rotate over to the PvP map pack. But for starters, let's go ahead and make sure we thank our incredible team of playtesters here, uh, going ahead and showing off the missions for us. Ashley, Peyton, and Michael, uh, thank you all so much. Uh, very much. There we go. We're getting some waves from the backstage. Uh, <clears throat> thank you all so much for the time. And of course, uh, Willie. I think this is unfortunately the time. Now we bid you adieu to go ahead and transition into thank the uh, the you. PvP Thanks map. For me. See you soon. Awesome, Willie. Thank you so much. All right, we are now uh, joined by another member of the Bungie development team, a <laughs> staff artist here who has helped made many of the PvP maps that you've also known and loved, the one and only Mr. Cooley Callahan. Cooley, welcome to the show, man. Guys. How's it going? <clears throat> Good to see you. Thanks for having me Absolutely. here. Absolutely. It's been so long. Uh, yeah. yeah, it has. It's been a minute. Look at us, right? <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, full circle. Yeah. Now, uh, we were talking a little bit before the show about Cooley. I'm going to go ahead and do us all a favor and put Cooley on the spot to a degree. Rob, we were talking a bit about Cooley's history. We were. Here. Can you mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about the man sitting just to your left, the contributions he's made to the PvP Pantheon? 
Yeah, well, one of the things that was really important for us was to make sure that the strike team was stacked, that we had the best designers on the strike team. Mm -hmm. And so Cooley is certainly one of those. He's a six-year veteran of the PvP team who shipped over 11 maps. Yeah. A lot of them are fan favorites, and I'm not going to steal any more Cooley's thunder. I'll just let him talk <laughs> yeah. about some of that. Yeah, it's uh, not, not everyone's a banger. I mean, there's definitely some maps <laughs> that people would want some words with me. Uh, but I we'll think, save that for later, but what, what are yeah, some of the bangers? Come, come find me. Uh, it's, um, I think, you know, uh, Burning Shrine, yeah. which is now Burnout, you know, it's such a classic map. It's um, a trial's favorite. And then Midtown yeah. is another map that turned out really well. We built that for Countdown, but um, you know, I was just chatting with another Destiny fan at the dog park the other day, talking about how well that map supports all of the different uh, engagement ranges, mm -hmm. um, which is definitely something that we try to do. We try to create places for players to use their their favorite tools. Yeah. Now with the the maps, we're going to be looking at three of them today with kind of a, a primary focus on, you were mentioning earlier, I think it was the 3v3 kind of competitive side of things was sort of a focus for these maps. Absolutely. Yeah. I think early on, um, a lot of the direction that we got was we wanted to bolster that competitive uh, gameplay experience um, with new maps, tweaks to the modifiers of some of the modes. And so we, in our play testing, really focused on the competitive playlist and uh, really centered and put those uh, experiences at the forefront. Um, and then, you know, all Destiny maps, you know, can, can suit a variety of modes. So we also made sure they worked elsewhere. But for the most part, yeah. we really did want to provide um, new experiences and just breathe a little bit of new life into the higher, yeah. maybe a little bit sweatier uh, <laughs> gameplay. So you, know, you yeah. were staring directly at me when you said sweaty, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, pretty, we'll, we'll let it go for now. Uh, you know, actually, uh, briefly too on that topic before we kind of go into the guided tour of these maps. Mm -hmm. um, you know, having had it's so much cute. time to sort of be a part of building the the you know the tapestry that so much of our PvP happens on. What were some of the key lessons that you've kind of taken away from having built those maps and seen them go through everything from trials to quick play and and mm -hmm. you know bringing forward those lessons into these maps? Yeah, I think one thing that is always at the forefront of our minds is, um, you know, trying to strike that balance between, you know, providing the playground for players to express themselves and express their guardian and their play style. Mm -hmm. So a lot of verticality, a lot of movement. Um, and then so and then balancing that with making sure players understand where they're getting shot from and, you know, creating a satisfying PVP engagement that doesn't, you um, that doesn't leave players, you know, cursing the map or, sure. um, you know, feeling like they they don't understand why they died. So yeah. we want to make sure that players have, um, you know, the the we want to provide a choice for players that's you know always available to them to mm -hmm. um, to riff and to work with their team to you know use the map to their advantage. So yeah. it's a it's a balancing like a complex gameplay space um, that allows a lot of movement and freedom with without you know. Um, opening it up so much that you're not understanding, like, geez, I can get shot from so many different content, places. Right. Certainly. Um, so this we, we classic really, data um, reaction content. It's a, it's a little bit of back and forth. We'll, Just, we'll open it up. We'll try yes. some things. Yeah. Um, especially this Design. time around, we we tried some stuff and, and got into the mm. weeds a little bit. Yeah. But, um, I think that's all part of the Engagement discovery process ranges. of finding of finding the gameplay yes. that we want to create. And so we go a little further, maybe too far in the in the My openness and Swiss cheese, and then um, we bring it back and, and yes. make it a little bit more focused and really dial in the, mm. the engagements that we want. That's awesome. I mean, speaking of getting in the weeds, there's there's no time like the present. Uh, shall, yeah. shall we go ahead and dive on in? Absolutely. Excellent. Cool. Diving on in. Uh, all right, we got the first of three maps to go ahead and show off. This is the uh, we have we have one on Europa. One on Neomuna, and then one on one of the pyramid ships in essence, I believe is That's the name right. of the mm -hmm. uh, So this is the first one. This is here on Europa. Uh, Cooley, can you tell us a little bit about what we're seeing here today or where we are? Yes, so this map is called Eventide Labs, and this is a long forgotten human colony research outpost on Europa. Five um, minutes left. And uh, it, it just so happens that Aramis has chosen this location as a refueling station for her catch. So. Here you'll see, um, you know, perched just above the horizon is her catch in the in the in the skybox with, you know, it's getting it hooked up and um, we have a servitor over here that's um, hooked up to the catch to provide that ether that the elixir need, um, and so we really wanted to situate the maps in the universe and you know draw on that deep destiny lore, um, but yeah, we definitely have. Um, a presence of fallen here set amongst the um, abandoned human. Uh, you know, ice-encrusted structures of the past, which has been a really fun um, 
environment to work on. We definitely want to bring in as many new palettes as possible because you know there's so much great um, environment art content. The palettes are are really cool, and we want to we want to use those in in PvP wherever we can. Just to you know. The different palettes. I don't have really know how much insight I'm going to have. Leads to different gameplay spaces for the PvP maps. Uh, also, you know, when it comes to kind of finding these maps, a place in the world, Rob. It's one thing to uh, you know, I've been kind like, of looking at, look at them through these through an artistic lens. On. It's another uh, what thing. What were some of the challenges or even kind of exciting them. opportunities potentially of finding you know new places for these maps to live in the more modern era of Destiny that we've been experiencing more recently? Well, we really wanted to make sure that when we do an update like this, you know, it's it's a major refresh to the to the map rotator, right? Mm -hmm. Like we were adding quite a bit of variety here. We wanted to make sure that we had three distinctly different places and places that players haven't seen a bunch of times. So right. fortunately we had these uh, available to us and I'm, I'm just, I'm looking at it again now. I mean, I, I'm not getting sick of looking at this. The team does such a good job. It's gorgeous. <laughs> this is, I mean, one of the cool things is just how purposeful I mean, everything good. feels in the world. You know, yeah. like the art team always but pushes it so far where it really feels it like you're walking into a truly recently defunct, mm -hmm. you know, human colony or whatever the case may be. Yeah, and the frozen world of Europa, I mean, they all they all have their advantages for, for PvP, but uh, the the frozen ice walls of Europa are just perfect for yeah. multiplayer, and I'm sure Cooley's going to talk about this a bunch. Yeah, actually, also to Cooley, if you wouldn't yeah. mind, uh, you know, I as as people who have heard me talk too much about Destiny PvP would know, Dead Man's Tale and I get along a lot. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit maybe about some of the sight lines or opportunities that I'll have to maybe rack up some additional kills as I dive into this map the first time? Totally, totally. If if long range is your thing, um, this spot out here is definitely the place for you. Um, there's one spawn that happens uh, for uh, one team over by C and then one over by A. And so in these competitive modes, if you've got an objective okay. out here, Definitely this sight like line is map, really important is to lock down. So this is the like, this is a spot where you're gonna have two teams poking uh, and peeking each other. Um, and then, you know, rushing over here to try to get to this, this zone and lock it down. And yeah. um, if you're you know, rolling with that, that long range kit, you can hang back and sort of lock down this airspace here so that you can provide cover and, and maybe support your team from being uh, harassed down on this point. Okay. God, this and then fantastic. Run, run we also air, have sort of this, uh, the sight line in the middle, which will be pretty fun. It's definitely gonna be a race to, um, for each player uh, or each team to kind of get to this spot and, and lock down the, this sort of uh, portal here to ensure that you can uh, push into this space and kind of control the middle. But um, as you can see, there's, you know, lots of ways for players to come in and flank. So if you're holding the space, you'll really not want to be here for too long unless you've got the support to do it. Yeah. Um, Make sure you throw those grenade, grenades right off of the rip, basically, mm -hmm. when you're coming out of spawn to try and yep. conquer that territory as best you can. The... Yeah, one of the things I love yeah, about these ice map. caves is, um, you know, it provides a lot of opportunity for grenades, like trip mines, and to bounce things off of the, the back of the, of the walls. And the, the shapes here are just really fun to, to play with. Awesome. All right, so this is uh, one of three maps. Let's go ahead and prepare to go ahead and move on to the next one here really quickly. We've got uh, coming up next, Neomuna uh, as well. So finding a place, you know, on Neomuna, obviously, that that's, makes sense for PvP probably seems pretty natural, honestly, given just like how rich and vibrant and exciting of a place it is. Uh, what was it like, you know, even starting from an artistic standpoint on this map, Rob? This was a really exciting map for the team. Um, <laughs> It's a shopping slash entertainment center for the Exos on Neomuna. And, yeah. Um, you know, so there's a lot of really fun uh, decoration and the spaces have a lot of character to them. There's a lot of recognizable things, um, you know, human scale things that, you know, look relatable. And yeah. we don't always get that in, in all of our palettes. And so um, this is also an opportunity for us to have a really clean architectural mm. map that has a lot of um, you know, crisp edges and, um, you know, very uh, flat floors. So all of the, definitely the more competitive players and the sort of the more PvP uh, diehards, um, they really take to this map and it's an instant hit. Um, people are, you know, just right away pleased with, you know, how readable the map is. It's one of those maps that you play a couple times and you're, you, you get it, like you understand that it's all about this the center atrium room that is really open and kind of you know has this big pit in the Whoa. middle and then yeah. um, there's this area down here which is uh, where a lot of objectives spawn and there's um, some special ammo down here but then there's also um, this place over here where oh, the, the heavy ammo when spawns. When someone gives and, subs it just like you know, players will 
oftentimes just pop up here to do a quick check and, and maybe like try to get a, a cheeky kill on somebody who's maybe running uh, from cover to cover, but yeah. you Jesus. can't hang out here for very long because you've got so many different angles at which you can um, get shot from. But that's that's kind of like that balance of what I was talking about before. Like we, we want to provide that, but we want to make sure that um, it's not too powerful or um, you know, it's, it's still, it's a risk reward, right? You're making a trade off and um, you know, the, the players who are using the map well and who understand the map will um, Feels like you know, a Halo map. I kind of get to like that. Yeah. I mean, Actually, also too to kind of focus on the readability. I, uh, I remember I overhearing some discussions with with you designers talking about the clean zone in PvP. Can okay. you tell us a little bit about what that is and how it kind of helped inform the design of this map? Yeah, definitely. I think the the clean zone is something that you although know, I think a lot the of, um, you know the actual of look of the map uh, really helps used as well. to um, sort of create this space for uh, uh, the player to pop right to like really stand out from the environment and so for us it's about where the players My head slow, is. Sorry. this map is you know, i will try to project from the, the diaphragm of how it, it can really provide for a good pvp experience to um have this sort of mark on the wall where you can kind of expect players to to reside in yeah um, until they jump around and, and strands suspend you in the air and you're just left there cursing <laughs> the heavens for yeah. a little while yeah. maybe i'm speaking on my own behalf <laughs> uh this is this is looking fantastic. Yeah, this is, I will say, one of the maps that having done a little bit of play testing myself, um, I still have to give you credit for perhaps one of the most diabolical heavy weapon spawns, or heavy <laughs> ammo spawns, rather, I should see, uh, in any PvP map. Like, the sheer amount of risk-reward that goes into just making your way safely, or so you think, out to that particular territory. Right. Um, mm -hmm. You know, as you guys were even building that balance in of these consumables on the map, Cooley, what was it like sort of having that, that process evolve or, or grow? Yeah. Um, you know, typically when we start laying out a map, we, we just kind of start with control because it's a it's a good base point. It's it requires three, you know, very well defined combat pockets that have an objective in them. It's okay. Um, but then Joshua. from there, we start mapping out the other objectives that might <laughs> exist on a map, like the heavy ammo point. And I think we've kind of gravitated more toward having special ammo live next to some of the other objectives on the map, so you're not constantly having to make a choice of where, where should I go. Um, but we, we kind of map those things out, and um, it's, it's sort of a formula. There's, there's definitely a um, sort of a order of operations, so to speak, of you start with you know, these big strokes, um, you go to the next stage and, and start making sure that you've got you know, space and combat pockets for you know, maybe Dominion or, you know, some some other game modes and um, things just kind of fall into place from there. Yeah, excellent. All right. And we've also got we got one more map to check out as well uh, for all the fine folks at home. We're going to continue our guided tour and we're going to make our way over to Essence, to one of the pyramid ships to check out the final PvP map that will be releasing in this pack. Uh, as we're flying in, I, I got I to gotta give you guys credit. Like the space that exists inside those pyramid ships that's being terraformed by the Traveler looks just absolutely incredible. But this is the first time you guys have had a chance to really flex your muscles and build a PvP map out here. Um, you know, Rob, just to start from your perspective as we load in, <clears throat> what was it like developing this, you know, playground for Guardians that's kind of so deep in the enemy's backyard? I think it was really tough. Yeah. You know, like the, I remember there were quite a few iterations of this map, and I know Cooley's going to go into more detail, but like from a high level, it's a, a pretty inherently noisy palette. You know, Cooley was talking about the clean zone. Mm. There's some palettes in the game that are, that are just very visually noisy. So the geometry is noisy. They create a lot of shadow and a lot of highlights just yeah. by the geometry itself. And then the textures, the shaders that are on the geometry, those can be noisy. Yeah. And then there's the clutter of the palette. So when you, when you have uh, an environment with a lot of entropy and there's just mm -hmm. rubble everywhere, there's like garbage strewn around or, or plants hanging down, right. like we, we often do in Destiny, we have to declutter. Some of like the European <laughs> dead, dead zone maps, for example, yeah. are highly cluttered. And so this was an example of one of those um, fairly entropic, high clutter palettes yeah. that the team had to kind of wrangle into shape. Yeah, and I, I'm I'm sure Cooley's going to talk about that process because it was quite a process. Yeah, nice. actually, yeah, Cooley, I'd love to g continue and just start there. You know, taking this space on a pyramid ship and kind of making it suitable for a PVP. This looks map. like a much what was, bigger map. What was that process like from your perspective, kind of from more of a design side? Yeah, it's it's again it, a process of back and forth. Um, you know, we start with mass out, and mass out is the simplest and cleanest a map will ever be. And uh, you know, from there we start. 
um, developing the spatial character of, of the map. And one of the things we like to ask ourselves is, what is this place? And even with um, a more abstract palette like um, the Essence ship, um, it's, it's worth asking that question because we can leverage spatial archetypes that just kind of like naturally resonate with people. So um, like here we have in this map, we have sort of these dueling huts or these yeah. dueling, dueling ziggurats. And inside of them is this artifact or shrine. So maybe this is like a, maybe this part of the ship is a, a collection of mysterious artifacts that the witness has collected. Um, and so we, we lean on those things to, to give a little bit of rhyme and reason to a space that otherwise is completely abstract. Um, and that, that is also really useful for us in terms of we can make any, any kind of space we want. Like we're not limited by architectural constraints. But um, you know, it, can be, it can be tough sometimes to, to orient pay, players in the map um, when you don't have things like doors or you know, <laughs> like TVs or, or um, you know, any sort of you know, human scale architectural pieces that um, kind of clue you in. So yeah. yeah. It's also too is uh, yeah, I remember we were talking a little bit before the show, Rob, even about you know what it was like from a design standpoint and bringing in external testers to try these maps uh -huh. out for the first time. Can you tell us a little bit about that experience and kind of as you I think phrased it, discovering your own blind spots? Yeah, well we've done this before for years really, and yeah. we did it again here, and it was I think really successful because you know it was two days they ran through these maps when they were still in development. They yeah. weren't too far enough along where we couldn't make some some pivots that we needed to. Yeah. And they found a lot of stuff. I mean, we for this map, for example, we thought it was in a pretty good place. Yeah. And and a lot of things were called out. They didn't pull any punches. They were honest and clear and, and constructive with the feedback. And yeah. it wasn't super easy to hear at all. But sure. You know, when the when the team listened to it and we, we took tons of notes. And it was also about. I mean, they gave feedback on on our sandbox. Trying to see as well. like yeah. But how far <laughs> away lots and lots each point is it from was incredibly all the useful. other points. And okay. I. This you know, just like another lesson it's... in what we don't see. It's yeah. slightly you know? bigger, and, and it's just it's but so valuable. Not that much these, bigger. I can't say who they were, but they're very well-known community yeah. players. There's folks in chat, who knows? But <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, you know we you we really were careful about who we brought in because we wanted people that would be very pragmatic. Mm. You know, they weren't interested in their own, you know, YouTube monetization strategy or how how they particularly make content. They wanted the game to be in a great place. They wanted PvP mainly to because be they in probably had to sign an for NDA. the community <laughs> for Destiny. Absolutely right. And so, and they, they were carefully selected that way. And great communicators who could articulate the feedback. They could really speak Bungie to what trying they to were experiencing. Some and, NDAs right and now. What we you could say do anything to will fix what they were experiencing. Yeah. Nuke your ass and to man, orbit. I'd like uh, Cooley can can probably um, That's true. say they what he say thinks about it too. But yeah. I was just blown away by. Yeah, How but I mean, that these could, and, uh, I mean, these feel like they could that. be Certainly, reasonably. Yeah, yeah. yeah Cooley, can you tell us a little bit more about that experience like on your side as well? Totally. Maps. I mean, it's so fun to like. Those are some of my favorite moments when we can get a bunch of, um, you know, super fans from the community in and show them work in progress stuff, and they can actually give us real actionable feedback that we take back to the back to our desks and oh, all talk these about feel it, and we, you know, like we, we discuss how compatible. Can we, um, you know, sort of take their feedback and move forward. And um, this is this content is for them in, yeah. in, a, in a big way, right? Like we want, we need their approval. Like we we absolutely, you know, that's our that's our that's our mark. Should that's I explore our, this map without PvP? I mean, you could just load into a private match. That they're gonna love playing and, then and that walk they're around. excited to play and that their communities are gonna get excited to play and and sort of learn together and, and build strategies for. Um, you know, that's that's the funnest part of the job. Yeah, I mean, also, you know, Cooley on, on your side in general, what are you most excited for, for players to experience once this gets out into the world with Into the Light? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see these maps rotate into trials. I'm excited for players to have a totally new trials experience that, you know, is gonna be uh, a sort of a, an experience of discovery of, of these new spaces and of new strategies and, um, for players to also, you know, the the meta of isn't really formed yet. I mean, like we 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 sort of know how the map plays, but it's always a, a fun surprise to see in the wild um, just how the map ends up uh, sorting out and and what people end up doing. And um, you know, we're we're really looking forward to just watching what happens. Yeah. I mean, I, I count myself among the many that are excited to go ahead and dive on in, having no, more no. playgrounds to go ahead and dive on in on trials, no matter what the case is, maybe try and go ahead and actually get some more competitive rank. Uh, Cooley, thank you so much for taking the time to walk us through these today. We really appreciate it. Anytime, my pleasure.
Excellent. And uh, all right, well, we'll go ahead and use that as a moment to conclude the uh, the quick tour of as well of the PVP maps. Uh, we got a quick question from chat from Jake Asor asking about uh, are we going to get a playlist or mode? It'll be just these new maps during Into the Light. And the answer is yes. When they launch on May 7th, we'll have a 3v3 playlist to go ahead and talk just about these items. Uh, I'd rather let you play just those maps. Rather, we're talking about them today. <laughs> They're all going to be playing them very shortly. Uh, all right. Well, that uh, so far wraps up the first okay. two segments of our show. But we've got, as I mentioned at the top, a few more announcements for you as well. So you may have heard us mention the word Pantheon in the Twid last week, uh, or even on the show here last week potentially as well. We have got a brand new uh, raid-oriented, a raid boss gauntlet rather, starting on April 30th. Now there will be more information about this in an upcoming Twid. You'll have more details to dig into shortly, but you will have the Pantheon coming up, where you'll have an opportunity to face grueling raid bosses in a weekly challenge with escalating difficulties and rewards. Now this is a chance for you to go ahead and rally your clan or the perfect fire team with Fireteam Finder, if you're able to track them down, to go ahead and track down those exotics, adept weapons, any emblems you may not have gotten your hands on, but we have more details for that in the coming weeks. Keep an eye on the TWID, Cosmo, and the community team. Thank you for your hard work putting that together. Two, uh, when you dive on in on, uh, on April 9th, uh, actually rather before we get there, I'm sorry, we will have the opportunity to also, you'll have the opportunity to get a title through your course of Into the Light as well. So if you dive on in, go ahead and unlock and all the triumphs associated the with the seal, you'll be able to march into the final shape with a brand new title, Brave as well. So make sure, go ahead and get those, those big challenges bit off so that way you can handle them uh, as early as you possibly can and let the witness know that you're on the way. Uh, and we have three really, really cool things hitting on April 9th when Into the Light launches. The first one is if you're a new player, you got a buddy who's just jumping into the game for the first time and you'd rather not hang out with Shahan and the Cosmodrome, then you have an opportunity to go ahead and just join the front lines. You can skip the New Light campaign, give Shahan maybe a high five on the way out, ask him for a weekly bounty when you're back later, but you have a chance to go ahead and meet up with your friends, head to the Hall of Champions, grab the Gift of the Thunder Lords if you so choose, and get right ready for battle alongside them. So you'll be able to go ahead and grab some of these new light kits as well, depending on what your subclass of choice is out of the gate. But your barriers to dive in with your friends have never been lower. There'll be a chance to go ahead and dive on into everything you're seeing within the light here. Uh, also, okay. We have a couple more things. We have some questions in chat about this as well uh, from It's Zepsky and Atlas Live TV. But on 4.9, you'll have the opportunity to also change your, what, the way your character looks. So uh, you'll be able to go ahead and change your hair if you didn't like your haircut, we, okay, if you want to go ahead and change your face paint, if you want to go ahead and risk it to be one of those guardians who goes helmetless in the tower. I'm not sure if I'm brave enough, but I know many of you are. Your chance will be arriving very soon with Into the Light. Uh, and there will also be an opportunity to change your name. So Guardian4681 out there. With the launch of Into the Light, we're also going to give you one more name change token. If you already have yours sitting around, I believe you have two, but our friends in DPS will be able to answer that question for you. But you'll have that chance as well once Into the Light launches. <sighs> now, a there's a lot, but we also have one more thing for all of you. Uh, next How week, we're going to be joining you again for a special developer preview of some gameplay for Destiny 2 The Final Shape. Mm -hmm. It'll be uh, here, wherever you're watching live, you'll be able to go ahead and watch it on April 9th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific, uh, where you'll get a chance to basically, again, get a look behind the scenes. The developers have been hard at work for some mm -hmm. cool stuff that you are definitely not going to want to miss. And over the course All of that right. show, Twitch drops will be live. So they'll have, there'll be another emblem, which you can see here live oh on the screen, <laughs> that'll be available uh, after about 15 minutes of view time. Uh, right, if you haven't gone emblem. ahead and also unlocked the emblems that you got as a result of this show or that we're, we're having available during the Into the Light streams, that one's then sick. you have a chance to go ahead and spend some I, more time unlocking say. those as well. Uh, but uh, that, that does it. Um, for starters, to all of you Guardians out there in chat, thank you so much for taking the time to join us. We're thrilled about what we've been able to show off and thrilled about what the team's been working on for Into the Light. So thank you okay, for taking I the time to join us. I will replay the, the uh, chat. The, we see you out there. The Pantheon a good time. thing so for all the ad watchers. I'm sorry. I said an ad uh, was also, coming. Also, it goes without saying, but we'll go ahead and do so anyway. But the timing was literally building the worst the light, possible. All of so this. I will play that back. Uh, the teams that you guys have been kind enough to represent, thank you all so much for all of your hard work. Uh, we're nothing without the entire teams that we have here. Teams are obviously greater than heroes and we're firm believers in that. And you're all great examples uh, of, of that whole scenario. Uh, to our play testers as well that have helped us bring this show I'm to life, to Ashley Payton and Michael here behind the scenes. Uh, thank you so much for, for showing off some of the cool new content. And of course, all of our guests to Tom, to Rob, to Cooley, to Willie, to Noah, to Kelsey. Uh, I kind of missed a couple I'm forgetting too. anyone, am I? Chris. To Chris, thank you. To the one and only yes. Mr. Chris Proctor yeah, as well. Sorry. I, I um, thought it already played. 
Because uh, usually I have a little now timer. That's a... All right, we get it. I usually have a little timer that's like, here's when an ad's going to show up. And uh, and so I thought it already played. And then as soon as they said that, boom, the ad pops up. So <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Um, all right, it was around right here-ish. We have got a brand new uh, raid-oriented, a raid boss gauntlet. Okay, so this is this is Pantheon right here. Three playlist to go ahead and talk just about these items. Uh, I'd rather let you play just those maps. Rather, we're talking about them today. They're all going to be playing them very shortly. Uh, all right, well, that uh, so far wraps up the first okay. two segments of our show. But we've got, as I mentioned at the top, a few more announcements for you as well. So you may have heard us mention the word Pantheon in the TWID last week, or even on the show here last week potentially as well. We have got a brand new uh, raid-oriented, a raid boss gauntlet, rather, starting on April 30th. Now, there will be more information about this in an upcoming TWID. You'll have more details to dig into shortly, but you will have the Pantheon coming up, or you'll have an opportunity to face grueling raid bosses in a weekly challenge with escalating difficulties and rewards. Now, this is a chance for you. All right, hang on. I'm just uh, escalating difficulties and rewards. You to go ahead and rally your clan or the perfect fire team with Fire Team Finder, if you're able to track them down, to go ahead and track down those exotics, adept weapons, any emblems you may not have gotten your hands on. But we have more details for that in the coming weeks. Keep an eye on the TWID, Cosmo, and the community team. Thank you for your hard work putting that together. Two. Okay, that, I mean, that was the big uh, thing. When you dive on in on uh, on April 9th, uh, actually, rather, before we get there, I'm sorry, we will have the opportunity to also, you'll have the opportunity to get a title through your course of Into the Light as well. So, if you And uh, this was something I was asking literally at the start of the stream, is there going to be a title or a seal? You dive on in, go ahead and unlock that all the triumphs associated the with the seal. You'll be able to march into the final shape with a brand new title, Brave as well. So make sure, go ahead and get those those big challenges bit off so that way you can handle them uh, as early as you possibly can and let the witness know that you're on the way. Uh, the and we minutes. have three really, really cool things hitting on April 9th when Into the Light launches. The first one is if you're a new player, you got a buddy who's just jumping into the game for the first time and you'd rather not hang out with Shahan and the Cosmodrome, then you have an opportunity to go ahead and just join the front line. If you can. Yeah, let me, let me read this. Okay. For players new to games like Destiny 2, for players experience with games like Destiny 2. Okay. The skip is irreversible, but available anytime. Skip the New Light campaign. Give Shahan maybe a high five on the way out. Ask him for a weekly bounty when you're back later. But you have a chance to go ahead and meet up with your friends, head to the Hall of Champions, grab the Gift of the Thunder Lords if you so choose. Let me see this as well. Okay. Each bundle contains campaign-ready gear, subclass abilities, exotic armor quests. Okay. And get right ready for battle alongside them. So you'll be able to go ahead and grab some of these new light kits as well, depending on what your subclass of choice is out of the gate. But your barriers to dive in with your friends have never been lower. There'll be a chance to go ahead and dive on into everything you're seeing within the light here. Uh, also, okay. We have a couple more things. We have some questions in chat about this as well uh, from it's Zepsky and Atlas Live TV. But... On 4.9, you'll have the opportunity to also change your, what, the way your character looks. Okay, and then everybody came back from the ad break here, so. Um, oh, bring it in, buddy. Bring it in. Banner later, yes. We'll play banner later. All right, let me log back in so we have some background music here. And uh, I'm going to go find Danielle, see what she's up to. Excuse me. God, I really hope they don't talk about Pantheon this Thursday because I will literally be on an airplane when it's happening. And I'm going to be big sad about it. Okay. Can I show Bright Dust Store? Here you go. Be sure to grab your Bright Dust. Mida. I have some armor. Omelon armor from Season of Dawn. There you go. 
All right. Let's let's do a recap here. In one moment. So give me one sec. went downstairs. Okay. Let's do our little YouTube recap here. Let's do our little recap here. Yeah, also, if you still need the emblem, uh, make sure to just keep keep their, uh, their stream open. I have claimed both emblems now, so uh, I don't need this, so LOL, goodbye. Five push-ups. Five push-ups, and then we do the recap. All right, let's see it. Here we go. Okie doke. So, third stream just happened. We have probably three different things to discuss. We have exotic missions returning. We have new PVP maps, and then we have a bunch of smaller, but also kind of big things uh, that were announced after that. So the first thing that I want to mention is that in my God roll video, I mentioned at the top of the video that all of these or half of these weapons were going to be time gated to like May, like the last weapon was going to come out two weeks before the expansion. Bungie has changed that. So now it's going to be two weapons per week. So it's only a time gate of three weeks now. So the last batch of weapons will come out on April 30th. So you will have a month now in order to go actually earn all those weapons as opposed to like, you know, your favorite weapon showing up in the last two weeks and then you're trying to panic. Uh, which is a very good move. Uh, I really don't know the decision-making behind, you know, walling that off, time-gating that. I, they had to have known that they were going to make a lot of people mad doing that. So I think this change is very good. I think a lot of people would also just prefer everything launching at once, but I also understand them not wanting to completely overload people. So I think this is a nice in-between thing, but I really don't know what they were thinking time gating it that far out because it's like dude what are you doing all right so exotic missions are coming back in the whisper and the outbreak exotic missions these were pre beyond light missions so it probably took them a little while to rebuild uh normal mode is going to be 40 minutes and that's more for the normies you know no, I do not have drops with the emblem on. Nobody does, except for Bungie. Uh, here, I should probably be, like, playing some stuff in the background here. 
Let's start that section over. Thinking this is concept. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna mute that. Let's just go forward here. There we go. Okay, so exotic missions are coming back in Whisper and Outbreak. Uh, these are two very, very beloved exotic missions that were pre-Beyond Light, so I'm guessing there was some extensive amount of like rebuilding that they had to do to bring these back into the game. Uh, normal mode is gonna be 40 minutes, and back then these missions were 20 minutes, but the legend version of these, which is where a lot of the you know extra cool stuff is gonna be, legend mode is still 20 minutes as we knew it way back when. So no worries about that. If you just wanna run it through on normal mode, you don't really have to worry too much about the time limit, which I think is totally fine because like the super cool stuff and the higher difficulty is back to 20 minutes as people who were playing back then will remember. Um, to get back into the Whisper mission, you are not going to have to wait for a public event to show up and then do a special thing and then hope, you know, that it if you, you know, mess it up, it comes back right away. I think they said you're going to talk to Eris Morn and she's going to tell you some cool stuff and then you'll be able to go right into the mission. I wasn't really expecting them to do that again. Like, I don't know, it would have been like a neat novelty, I guess, if you could do it either way. Or, like, it was only that way for the first hour. I don't know, but I they were not going to limit how often you could come into this mission uh, after how it went the first time, which was, you know, I remember that first weekend. People were waiting, like, hours and hours for this mission to come around before they could even try it again. So, um, it was what, it was, you know, part of the novelty. I understand. I understand. But it's, that's not where we're at right now, you know? That's not where we're at. Um, they've also moved some item locations. Some some items have been moved around. Some other things have been moved around. I'm not really expecting the geometry of either the Whisper Mission or Zero Hour to really have changed in a very significant way. They did stop pretty early on, so there might be some small things that have changed. But from what we've seen so far, this place is pretty much exactly how I remember it. Um... So I'm not anticipating too many things there, although they did say that they reworked both of the boss fights. And in terms of combat, things are being updated to this current day standards uh, because, you know, we got these. This mission came out almost six years ago. So it was basically, you know, year one still of Destiny where we had double primary. So they had to make some changes to kind of bring it up to date. Uh, they also mentioned strand, like grapple and eager edge. I mean, this person's literally using an eager edge sword right now. Um, it doesn't seem like they've made too many changes to sort of counter the use of those things. Like they were pretty like, yeah, you know, like we know they exist and like use them, like go nuts. Um, so that I think was about it for whisper. Uh, the ships are also coming back, but they are going to be, or sorry, I shouldn't say the ships are coming back. I should say there are new ships to earn in these missions. So each one of these missions had a unique ship. Uh, the Whisperer ship is still like one of the best ships they've ever released. Whereas the Zero Hour one was the Drifter ship, which was like looked all clunky and all that kind of stuff. And uh, so they have made updates to both. So if you have the OG versions, you can hang on to those but there will be new ones to earn in both of the missions. So now let's go to zero hour. Now we'll go back to about here. Uh, zero hour is, is kind of a lot of the same thing. Um, what they talked about in these sections were just sort of like the development process and the ideas. And, you know, uh, for zero hour, they talked a lot about Trevor which is the robot that was hunting you down in that maze and, and sort of the inspirations for that. It's just some pretty interesting stuff if you're interested in sort of like the development process or the background, a lot of these things. They they explained how Trevor got uh, his, his name, the acronym. Um, so otherwise, not too much information because they only ran through like the first five minutes of the mission. So there's not really a whole lot to talk about without seeing a lot more but i am anticipating both of the missions to essentially be as they were for the most part as we got them way back when you know five and six years ago whatever 
Um, yeah, again, 40 minute timer for the normal mode uh, for people who just like want to run it and not be stressed out about a timer. But then a lot of the cooler stuff you're going to need to earn in legend mode, which is a 20 minute timer. Uh, plus, I assume, increased enemy difficulty. What's up, shitheads? Okay, I'm kind of recording. Please don't call my audience shitheads. <laughs> Only I can do that. I didn't know you were right. <laughs> That is honestly my bad. <laughs> I love you, buddy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's I will, okay. I will leave you to it. It's okay. I'm I heard sorry. you come in, and I was like, this is a good spot to wrap up, because Danielle's going to say something, and stop. What's up, shitheads? It's really? <laughs> yeah. Really? I heard you come in. I was like, she's probably going to wait until I finish the sentence, right? Yes, she did. Thank oh, you. <laughs> I, I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love you. I love you, buddy. Where are we? Probably downstairs. See, they're not in the live Okay. Thanks, buddy. No, unfortunately, that can't be the video intro because you can't really swear on YouTube in the first minute. It's like not really the greatest idea, but we'll put it at the end or something. Um, okay, so moving on from the missions themselves, uh, Whisper of the Worm and Outbreak are both going to be craftable. Uh, Whisper is coming with barrels and magazines, and then this middle perk here is going to either be mulligan or field prep or no distractions or enlightened action. Uh, Whisper is also getting a reserves bump. It's going from 18 to 24 in reserves. But otherwise, the weapons are as you know them. You'll just be able to craft them with a custom perk here in the middle. For Outbreak, it is... Oh, here it is. For Outbreak, uh, Rabbit Hit has been suggested... One trillion times they are putting rapid hit in the perk pool for outbreak perfected. You're also getting rewind rounds. Uh, Outlaw is staying there, and Headseeker is also here. Um, I know something uh, people are gonna be absolutely using rapid hit considering the weapon. Rewind, I think, is also somewhat viable, but I'm sure there's gonna be a good amount of testing done. But it, you know, sometimes it's tough to beat that that stability from from rapid hit, and and rapid hit's reload speed is also very very good. So. Very, very highly requested perk to see on Outbreak Perfected. People talking about the catalyst, like add it to the catalyst and this and that. There you go. You can add rapid hit or wee woo rounds uh, to your Outbreak Perfected as soon as these missions come out. Uh, speaking of which, Whisper is coming out in April and Zero Hour in May is, I believe, what they said for when these missions are coming back. Um... I think that's it for the exotic missions. In terms of like thoughts, um, am I, am I going to run these exotic missions a lot? I'll run them to get all the items and then I'll be done, which is what I anticipate, you know, Bungie is anticipating people are going to do. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty happy to see these missions come back to the game because they are two of the best pieces of content that I think the game's ever gotten these missions have had insanely high praise from everyone who's played them so i'm just glad that they're back because there's probably such a massive audience of people who have joined the game in the past you know two three four years even that did not get to play these things and uh it's so i'm very glad that people are going to be able to play them potentially for the first time if you're new to destiny and you've never played whisper it made me cry <laughs> it made it, you cry yeah because i was so bad at the game i couldn't do the jumping oh jump. yeah then, yeah not for any lore reasons danielle's just the, bad at jumping just, it's a really hard jumping puzzle <laughs> and it and and i played with jez and uh i forget who our i think it was just me and jez or me and jez and, and a third and then for the next time, like, we couldn't get one thing. We were trying to get the, like, exotic version, and we couldn't yeah. get it. And then the next day, he replaced me with something else, <laughs> and I cried. <laughs> so I was like, I'll never be good at video games. And my friends are all good, and they won't want to fight with me because I suck. And look at you now. Absolutely nothing has changed. <laughs> no one wants to play with me because I suck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
That was a layup. Come on, that was a layup. Um, yeah. Otherwise, um, I'm 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 glad to see these missions come back. Am I gonna just be running these for the love of the game? Probably not. But is this also some content that I think you know every once in a while can be like, hey, let's do some let's do some zero hour runs or let's do some whisper runs? Absolutely. Um, which I did enjoy doing because. You know, you don't really need to get in voice chat or anything like that with, with people. So, um, yeah, looking forward to, to seeing these come back. Looking forward to seeing people's reactions to, to playing these. Um, I want to see how the Legend difficulty is. I'm not expecting too much of a struggle, but you never know. Um, so, yeah, I think it's it's awesome that these are, that these are coming back. Next, we have the PvP maps. And Bungie did essentially like a kind of like a fly through of each of these maps. Uh, these maps are all coming together uh, with, I think, uh, with Into the Light, right? Are they are they coming right at, with Into the Light? Because I know they said May seventh they're coming out with a three v three playlist for these maps specifically. So it, okay, so they are launching in May. So May seventh three new pvp maps in addition to a playlist to play just these maps for 3v3 but i do think they could all reasonably be played in a 6v6 format these maps are much smaller they're not like disjunction they're not like multiplex where they're these gigantic maps that need to be adapted for every single mode these are much more what i would consider traditional destiny maps um we're having one on europa we have one on yomuna we have one that is uh, pyramid ship themed, although it's like basically in Root of Nightmares. And Bungie did a fly through of all of the maps. I don't really have a ton to say on them. You know, I'll kind of like skip through. They did a little first person. They did a little uh, third person, just kind of camera action. So I'll let some gameplay kind of fly through here. And they all like look pretty good. You know, I, I think this Neo Muna one got a lot of praise for, uh, for how it, it looks. But I mean, they all look really, really good. It's just a matter of how are they going to play, and you can't really get that vibe too much from just a fly-through of the maps. You know, like, how are they actually going to play? Are they fun to play? Because I've said this, you know, a million times. Bungie can make all the new maps that they want, but if they don't play well, and if I don't want to play on them, it doesn't even matter, right? Like, we got sure, we got two new PvP maps in Disjunction and Multiplex, Whenever Disjunction pops up, I'm just kind of like, ugh. And Multiplex, yeah, I got pretty tired of pretty quickly. So, these maps, again, looking a bit more traditional. They look like they could fit a 6v6. They are built specifically for, like, a 3v3 competitive focus. They wanted to bolster the Trials experience, the Comp experience a little bit. But I don't think there's any reason why these could not show up in a 6v6 format uh, to, to some degree. Um, that's all I really have for the PvP maps, because you guys are not here for me, uh, for PvP. But I will be happy to play them. I'll kind of let this one scroll through as well. But, uh, I would just check out the, the live stream itself, or talk to your local PvP expert if you want some more intel on these maps. I just don't have a lot, because, you know, we gotta play on them first, right? So, after this, Bungie had a few more announcements which I will skip forward to. So the first thing is that there will be a title and a seal for Into the Light. The title's called Brave. Uh, what a surprise. Uh, but that was something that I was wondering if there was going to be, and there is. So there is a title to go earn. Next, they are introducing a, uh, a thing where you can skip the new light. Come on. Skip the new light experience and just hop immediately into the game so if you have some friends who are like yeah i know how to play a shooter or you know you just have friends in general that you can coach you can just tell them to skip the new light experience you don't have to take like the hour or so that it takes to do and they also will give you one of these so you can just immediately unlock some kind of a kit for whatever class that you select. It comes with some gear, it comes with some subclass abilities, exotic armor quests, blah, 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 blah. So you're just gonna be able to hop right in and combined with the gift of the Thunder, Thunder Gods or Thunder Lords? Either way, 
the chest that you pick up, you're basically going to be able to immediately hop into the game from like it, like five minutes in. You can have an almost kitted out character. It is Thunder Gods. Okay. You're going to be able to have an immediately kitted out character within five to ten minutes of logging on to the game. You're Whether you're a new player, you're a returning player, whatever you are, which I think is awesome. Um, next, character customization. We knew this was coming, uh, but this is coming with Into the Light. It's just kind of like a, you know, reminder. Hey, you're going to be able to re-customize your character with uh, whatever they got going on here. They're giving out a name change token for Into the Light. So if you want to change your name, you're going to be able to do that. Uh, and then also, a couple of bigger things. Number one is a mode called Pantheon, which they mentioned during one of the previous streams which I cannot find. I mean all I mean literally it's just it's just this image that's all they gave of us. But here's what they said. It is a raid boss gauntlet coming on April 30th. There's going to be an upcoming twid, a bungee update that will go over what this is going to be, but they said you're going to be able to face uh, face raid bosses with escalating difficulties and rewards to earn uh, exotics, adept weapons, and old raid emblems. I'm not anticipating them relaunching the day one raid emblems or anything like that, but just old raid emblems if you didn't happen to go get them from the past. Very excited to see what this is, but literally this image is all we have, which is just the raid symbol. Um, so look out for the twid coming. I don't know. I don't know which twid they're going to mention it in. But uh, very excited. This is something that I've been, you know, fantasizing about for the past few years now. Like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if we had, like, a gauntlet of all the different raid bosses? I know I've said this in the past during live streams. Um, or people asking, like, hey, what raid do you want to have come back? It's like, I think it'd be cool to have just, like, a gauntlet of raid bosses. Just, like, you just fight them all in a row. And uh, so I'm very, very excited to see what this ends up being because I think it could be pretty cool, especially if it's, you know, they, I mean, they said old raid emblems are coming back, which I'm assuming to mean that they're potentially bringing back old raid bosses, right? Stuff that's no longer in the game, uh, uh, Crown of Sorrow, Scourge, you know, whatever. So very excited to see what's going on with this. Very, very excited. And then finally, they are showing some final shape gameplay next Tuesday, April 9th. This is 30 minutes before Into the Light goes live. So I don't know how long this live stream is going to be. It might just be 30 minutes. It might be an hour. I don't know. Um, but they're starting it at 930, which makes me think that they want to have it be done as Into the Light goes live. But we're going to have some gameplay. Uh, if there's enough stuff to break down, I will totally do some sort of a recap video for it. Yeah, it could just be a trailer. We, I mean, it's a it says gameplay preview. So I'm assuming we're going to have some devs sitting down, playing Final Shape, and taking us through a little something something. Maybe talking about some, uh, some features that are coming. It says 30 minutes for Final Shape at, uh, and at 10 into the light trailer on the website. Can you link? Can you link what you're talking about? Yeah, Dark Zero, I, I will, uh, I will make mention of that. Oh, wait, I think I have it. Oh, okay, I see. Whoosh. Got it. So yeah, so it it looked it does look like uh, thirty minutes for the gameplay preview, and then the Into the Light trailer comes out as Into the Light goes live, which is like, I mean, okay. Um, and there is also going to be an emblem attached to this. This is the emblem for watching the. Final Shape gameplay preview. Uh, I'm not going to lie. It's a nice looking emblem. You're probably going to have to watch 
Bungie stream for this. I doubt you'll be able to watch just any creator's stream, much like the two emblems that were attached to the dev live stream uh, that uh, launched over the past three weeks. They said 15 minutes for the uh, for the emblem. So you have to watch 15 minutes of the 30 minutes of the Final Shape gameplay reveal in order to get this emblem. Make sure all of your accounts are linked up. Make sure your drops are working on Twitch because this, I think, will be the only time you will be able to earn this unless they, you know, make it possible to earn sometime down the road. I will wait for the ads. But, I mean, that's basically the end of it. Okay, we should be back from ads. I apologize about that. Uh, but do remember that ad revenue goes towards paying editors and moderators. So I appreciate your patience there. And I ran out of snoozes because I used them all during the Bungie stream. <laughs> so sorry. Um, but, I mean, that that's basically everything from this stream uh, that I, at least, that I wrote down. Um, in terms of thoughts, like... Yeah, I mean, I kind of mentioned my thoughts on the exotic missions. Uh, I'm very glad to see them back. I, I, yeah, I, I'm going to play them to get the crafted version of the weapons and get the new ship and the collectibles and then this and then that, whatever else comes out. I'm happy that these, you know, really, really high quality missions are coming back to the game. I would love to see like Niobe Labs come back one day. That would be sick. Just like restoring a lot of like the greatest hits of Destiny, putting them back in the game. The new PvP maps look good. I hope they make their way into the 6v6 rotation so you can just kind of play them casually. Um, hopefully PvP players are gonna be happy about those maps, but that's more of like a to be determined situation uh, because we need to see how they're actually gonna play. But they do feel a bit more reminiscent of the typical map experience that we are used to in the game. Pantheon, I mean, looks pretty sick. I mean, I can't even say looks pretty sick. We literally have a screenshot of the raid, like, you know, thing as a, as the, the only piece of information that we have. This is literally all we have, but it sounds, it sounds dope. I want to see how they execute upon it, um, but it sounds dope. Uh, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to reading about and seeing what this is actually going to be. Um, in terms of like the gameplay experience and all that, escalating difficulty, uh, raid boss gauntlet, like I'm I'm pretty stoked to see what this is gonna be. Pretty pretty stoked. Um, but I think that's really about it. I don't know. Chat vibe check. Unchangeable ribbon. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring the chat back up. Uh, let me chat. Let me get a vibe check. Cause I feel like vibes are kind of up right now. I feel like we're kind of vibing. Like. Exotic missions coming back that, like, everyone has wanted them to come back. Outbreak Perfected's getting rapid hit. We're getting some new PvP maps. Raid Gauntlet. Like, I, I feel like vibes are kind of up right now. Vibes are kind of up. You know, they're, they're pulling out... They're pulling out some stops to, uh... To bring the vibes up. And and so far, I, I do think it is working more than it's not working. So. We'll see. I, I think we're I think we're heading into final shape pretty strong. Um 
I, th I think you know they're they're trying to they're trying to keep vibes as high as possible going into final shape, and hopefully that means you know some good times for for final shape as well. When do the PVP maps come out? They come out on May seventh. Fuck, vibes are down. <laughs> All right. But I want them now. Shush. Uh... Pinch. No. You're just being dramatic. Yo, also, when are you hopping into PvP? Your ass hopping into PvP? I was playing last night, bitch. Well, excuse me. I had a good time playing fucking Supremacy shit, and I was like, alright, maybe I can... Danielle having a good time playing Supremacy? I, I can... My thing is, is that I play until I start raging, then I stop. That's how you should. That's yeah. how you should. Oh, that's how I should? Mr... I play PvP all day and rage nonstop and then get off stream and are mad at me because Destiny PvP is bad. <laughs> when did that happen? It happens all the time when you used to like okay. When do I hop into PvP? You crazy. When you have you you only do it you have like a day of PvP where you're like trying to get a guild title or some shit. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Um I think, uh, I, you know, I, I think the first couple of streams, there's been some apprehension from just, like, the community in general. I I don't know what, in, in this stream, people will be like, yeah, but... And it's like, dude, new PvP maps, old missions coming back that everybody asked for, uh, Pantheon announcements, we're getting some Final Shape gameplay preview, like, I don't know, this is, this is... This is looking pretty good. As far as a celebration of, you know, all of Destiny. I mean, like, yeah, it's all a free update too. Like, it's it ain't bad. It ain't too bad. Why don't you take that out of bed? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I'm scared they're gonna mess it up. I, I can understand that. I can understand the apprehension of like, all right, What's the catch? You know, what's going to go wrong? And I like, I totally understand it. I totally understand that. But right now, I think I'm just going to take the dub where I can get them. You know what I mean? Feeling, feeling pretty good. I'm feel, I'm feeling pretty good about this, especially now that they combined, you know, the, like adding into that, the, the reduced time gating of the, brave arsenal weapons like that's only gonna that's like cut in half now so i don't know i for me vi vibes are kind of up vibes are kind of up oh yeah but? i think i think so for into the light yeah yeah but? i mean I, I i was like you know I, I still have my apprehensions most of the time but like right now i'm just i'm kind of up i'm kind of vibing even though jez is my best friend i really want raid gauntlet and like all this stuff to be really good so that his last video about destiny being over and dead and bad and it's the best of it is behind us that i can flip him off <laughs> <laughs> and be like you're wrong you're dumb um but yeah uh brave weapons uh there's gonna be a batch of them that drop on the ninth and then there's gonna be a slow rollout of like two the following week two the following week and then two the following week as opposed to six and then one, 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 one. So, and again, Pantheon is coming on April 30th. April 30th. So three weeks after the launch. But I don't know. I want it now. Vibes are up. I will say vibes are up. I think Into the Light like, is, is looking like a banger. A desperate bungee is a good bungee. <laughs> oh my God. I think vibes are up. Um, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited for this update. And it'll come faster because we're going to be in LA all weekend. I was just telling them, like, I I hope they don't talk about Pantheon this week. Because... Oh, for the twid. Yeah. <laughs> or I hope they announce the twid very early on Thursday. Because yeah, we have to leave, yeah. like, right around when the twid normally goes live. Yeah. So... No Gambit updates. Sorry, Gambit enjoyers. There is no Gambit update. I'm sorry. 
And for Gambit non-enjoyers, yay, there's no <laughs> Gambit update. We're pogging. Woo! <laughs> All right, let me uh, get this uploaded to the Google Drive. It's getting up. It's getting there. And uh, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna game. We're gonna do a little bit of gaming here. Paul's uh, thumbnail just said, "I'm impressed." <laughs> 23k. What am I most excited for for Into the Light? I mean, it's definitely got to be the raid gauntlet now. <coughs> Jesus. Three Help. strikes. Help, I'm dying. And you're out. Help. I'm dying. Did you see Zach said that he, he, he thought of somebody to send my stuff to? Oh, no, I didn't. Because <laughs> I tagged him in, in uh, Clock Town. Okay, yeah, yeah, Please not die. I'm trying my best. I feel like... Redemption arc. Yeah. And see if I can like make it up the, the hill. The, make it up that hill. The, the, the you know, jumping puzzle within five tries. Okay. I want to see you do a solo run. Okay. That'd be content. Alright. Okay. I'd much rather do that than any fucking dungeon. Where's, where's Brim? He's in the library. He's stunning himself. Brim is in the library getting a 10. Um, drink water. I have no more water. I need to get more more water and a stretch break. I can do that. Can I do an office tour, please? I got you. Here we go. Here it is. place here he is there's brim oh my goodness brim why do you have a laundry dryer hall uh, did he chomp in it? i don't know but it was there Ooh, there's a chomper look at this chomper 
That's a good one, Brim. Can't hear. Can't hear. What? Can't hear Brim? Can't She's hear. not saying anything. Brim ain't saying much. Brim does not really talk. I don't know you know that. For starters, he is a dog. But he also just doesn't bark that much. He will bark at other dogs, but that's about it. It's Brim! Mm. Chat. It's Brimstone! In, Ju in June. In June. In June. For my birthday, I'm gonna do a subathon. But I always was worried about being doing a subathon because I didn't know what I would do. But being a woman and sleeping on stream seems not good. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is when when That's it's time to sleep, I'm gonna put a camera in Brim's kennel. And you can watch him sleep, and I feel like that'll be a good substitute. That'll be a good substitute for me sleeping. Mm, those might be good. I don't know. Okay. Have I considered simply never sleeping? I mean, mm, I've, I've kind been, of a based take. I would plan on staying up as long as I could, and I could stay up a while. I don't know how entertain entertaining I'll be, but. Can't I just have Easy that as a 24 7 stream? Can you, can you. Wait, when's your appointment? It's at noon. Oh. It's do I have to go soon? Yeah. I have to, okay. It's like when you when you come back, call about a vet appointment for him and and get his anti itch meds yeah. restocked. Damn. All right. Um, let's thank some subs, and then I think I'm hopping in a banner. Although, I don't know if there's a spot Start for me in the squad here. Yeah, they already have six, so. Might just be doing some solo queue. Which I, honestly, I'm not super opposed. Um. Let's thank some subs. But first, thank your wife. Anyway, thanks, Danielle, for 67 months of subbing. <laughs> she said 69. <laughs> but it's only 67. Did I have a resub? No, but I mean, it's going to be 67. How do you know? Because last month was 66. Hello? That's how numbers work? I didn't know that you would remember the specific month that I fucking subbed. Uh, you what? first subbed when we first started dating. Yeah, I remember those kind of things, Danielle. Because I love you. Idiot. Likely story. Oh, there goes Brim. Dad, I'll leave. Alright, anyway, let's thank subs. Um, Dilems. With a prime. Huge, gigantic nuts. Thanks for priming. Gig Panda. Thanks for priming. Um... Those are all the primes and the freshies. Thank you very, very much. Uh, King Taco with 35. Lblood with 14. Uh, uh, Super Tepos with the 9, whose name I probably messed up. Bith with the 10 months. Teasons with the 54. Anonymous with a couple gifted. Thank you very much, Anonymous. Hopefully that wasn't for the emblem, because you can't do it anonymously. Birdface with the 2 months. Thanks for coming back. Freezing in June, gifting the sub to Myth. Thank you very much. Emerald Spartan with 11. Dr. Evil Steve with the 7. Uh, Herschel with the 5. EJB with the 13 months. Zipfer with the 12. Yes, Into the Light is a free update. Uh, Frost Diaz with the 14. Good to see you again. Storm Chaser with the 31. Hyrule Vanguard with the 8 months. Uh, Dez with the 93 giga sub right there. Pope Spice with 89 months of subbing. Your TTS uh, was eaten because my alerts are muted. I am now re-enabling TTS. And I will reflect that in the title of the stream. Um, Twisted Nebula with 16 months. Phantoms with 51. Vele with th uh, 52. Bun with a 35. Uh, Ginger Reaper with 11 months. Thank you very much. Neo JB with 20 gifted subs. Be sure to thank Neo if you just got gifted a sub. Thank you very, very much. That is incredibly generous of you. 
Incredibly generous. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, thank you. Speaks for Trees 81. RPM 72. That's six years of sub. And Max Zero Res with 66. Some giga subs coming in. Rune Fang also with 93 months. Thank you very much. Way of the Future with the 23. J Paul with two months. Thank you very, very much. Use my primer so I don't miss out on what my opinion should be. Dude, it, it's like... It feels good to, like, be be vibing on, on the update. I'm not going to lie. Like, vibes are just feeling really good. And I feel like that's just so rare. I feel like that's such a rare feeling for Destiny. Like, it's nice to feel good about it. I don't know. Because most of the time, I feel like we're just kind of... We're just kind of like, yeah, all right, okay, all right, yeah, okay, all right, okay. Uh, but now it's just kind of like, oh. Oh. Okay. People are asking if you're to play Content Warning. Also, are y'all doing anything for the Eclipse? Probably not doing anything for the Eclipse. Uh, the boys were talking about Content Warning. The only issue is that I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to play because I think we're playing with Jez and Danielle on Iron Banner tonight. And I know Fruit wanted to play potentially today. Not sure. Because um, I know they want to play like pretty soon. But I'm not sure if they have a group for it already. So I would like to try it if I can fit it into the schedule. So we'll see. Any plans to play Lethal Company update? I didn't even know there was an update. I don't know. It's just going to be tough now with, with Into the Light. Like, I wasn't anticipating Into the Light to be, like, kind of this much of a banger. So now I'm like, where the hell am I going to fit in this extra... <laughs> all this extra stuff? Dude, we got the Balatro update, too? There's going to be a Balatro patch? There's going to be a little Balatro update. Like, I want to play that, dude. Like, god damn. Thursday streams now. We still have, like, two more sessions of D&D. &D. But as soon as we're done with D&D, &D, I would like to have an occasional Thursday stream. This month has just been really, really busy for me. Like, I I know I put that note in Discord where I was like, I want to try doing, you know, some more streams where, like, maybe we just don't go as long. And then... Like, Destiny drops happened, and a bunch of bigger projects for me happened, and I was just, like, so exhausted. So I still do want to make that a reality, but I, it's just been, like, so busy in March that I, I never really got to execute on that. But I do want to... I do want to start doing that again. Even if it's just, like, some variety stuff. D&D, &D, I don't record it, but I know it's on Joey's YouTube channel, About Time Joey. If you want to search it there um but we only have like i think we only have like two or three more episodes left because i told them i was like look if we're still in this DD campaign by the time final shape rolls around uh you might as well just kill off my character because i will not be around for like two months <laughs> so opinion on new light skip do you think at this point the new light experience has been a hindrance i've had friends quit over it isn't the new light experience literally just like an hour I think it's a good idea that the ability to skip is there because not everyone is c completely clueless when it comes to video games and there are also people like, you know, who can figure it out. I've been advocating for like a, you know, like a, I know how to play this kind of video game skip in games recently after having to play some tutorials for some things. And uh, so, you know, for people who can be coached, like if you're playing with, like you're bringing in a friend to the game and you can just kind of you can just kind of tell your friends how everything works then being able to just skip new light and get right into it i think is is totally fine i think it's totally fine Does a bad job of explaining how the actual game works regarding like how building works what stats are important etc cetera, etc cetera. well i mean it, i don't know like this might be a take, but I don't know if it's the game's job to tell you, like, here's how to make a build. 
You know, like here, what they tell you is these are aspects, these are fragments, you slot them in, they do things. They're not gonna tell you like, oh, if you use these two aspects and combine them with these fragments, then you'll get this kind of a build that does this, this, this. I feel like that's up for the players to kind of discover. So I don't think they're ever gonna be that explicit with, with stuff like that, you know? They're, they'll tell you like what those things are and how they, you know, are part of the game experience. But I, I think them just directly telling you what to do in that aspect is, is not really the intent of, of like, especially the new light experience. Like the new light experience is just like, here's your abilities. Here are guns. Here's what a subclass is. You know, stuff like that. They're just giving you the 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 foundations, the building blocks. Here's what a bounty is. You know? Here's what a vendor does. But I still think the ability to skip is not a bad thing at all. I think it's totally fine. Uh, all right, let me finish taking subs, and then we're going to the bathroom real quick, and then we're, I think we're going to hop into Iron Banner. Pueble with the 49. Thank you very much, Pueble. 49 months. Dakota with the full year of subbing. Thank you very, very much. Uh, GW Shark with the 18. Dewdrop with the tier 2, 102 months. Thank you very, very much for the 102. Massive, massive, massive. Malarkey with the 33. Tikus with the 57. BCJR8 with the 55. Here's to six more years. I'm actually somewhat hyped to play a little Destiny again. Keep up the good stuff and hope you're doing well. Hey, thank you very much. Unicorn Ninja Tier 3. Yet again, thank you very much. Six years. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very, very much. Uh, Bep? Bep Kasten. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Uh, Simi and MCLH01. I'm not sure how to say your name. Uh, thank you all very much for priming. Three primes in a row. Uh, Colonel Crispy with the three months. Necrotic Grips with the five months. No Clue with the 20 months. Welcome back, all of you. Have you tried Twitch Prime with the Twitch Prime? Huge. It's John Prime in the chat right now. Thank you very much for using your Prime here. Uh, Timberlander420. Hi, I used to be Duke Atomic, and then I took a lot of estrogen. Thank you for my opinions. I never tried. I was going to say, I don't know a Timberlander420 subbing for seven years. So unless you were a Giga Lurker, that was definitely a name change. Enjoy the estrogen. Thank you very much for seven years of subbing. And uh, Sins of Sorrow, 68 months of subbing. Thank you very, very much. And Dandy or Stiggy. Thank you very much for the new sub. Thanks for subbing. Yeah, I don't know. It was like... I assume it's some kind of a beverage. Right cherry flavored perhaps all right let me run to the bathroom real quick and uh and we're gonna hop in <laughs> Light versus yeah, you just drink it right <laughs> no i'm not serious god damn it <sighs> all right i don't even know if this thing can freaking roll i'm gonna look up look that up and then i'm gonna hop in Oh, I have to put on a bunch of Iron Banner ornaments, don't I?
job, bro. That is a good. That's a good bite. And that's a good song. And that's a bopper. Alright, let me, uh. No, let me do a stretch break first and then. I get my ornaments locked up. Oh my god. He's gonna cheesecake me. No, when I'm at my most vulnerable. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Alright, let me throw on some freaking ornaments here, dude. Man, I'm gonna ruin my fashion. All right. Iron Banner. All right, that's an easy one. No Iron Will. Iron Will. And Radagast. I just previewed them. I didn't actually equip them. There. Wow. Wow. Am I going to do a recap video of the past three live streams? I mean, I'm going to do a, a recap of today's live stream, and then you can watch all the recaps in order. Um... I don't think I've actually played Tribute. I don't think I've actually done that. How good does Pantheon's reward need to be considering the strength of the Brave Arsenal coming out? I, uh, I don't know. I mean, you'd think they'd have to be, like, almost reprised raid weapons at this point. Um, but I mean, like, there are some missing and old raid weapons. Like, the entire Crown of Sorrow arsenal, uh, Scourge arsenal, um... So, I, I I would I would have to say like probably on par, on par or close with like typical raid weapon strength. Why am I not getting the freaking warnings for the ad breaks, bro? So cringe. is editing the uh, the recap right now and uh and we'll take a break from iron banner when he is done so i can upload it and make a thumbnail That should be a Giganade. I'm cooking him. Is this Arnade? It is. I'm going in for him. 
Oh my god, I'm going so fast. <laughs> no, I just drop all those crests. I didn't know that's how it worked. And also, nobody followed me in either. Come on, man. Give me those back. Holy giga crests. Wow, that guy's dead. Cook him. Cook him up. Cook him up. Cook him up. Oh, bless you, Brim. This guy's got power ammo. Heard PvP was played more slower due to the updates. Uh, it's it's a bit slower paced. You, you really gonna jump up here, bro? Uh, there's not as much like special. There's not as much special ammo. There's a little more emphasis on uh, primary gun battles. Holy... Get him. I'll cover. Oh, that's bad. Please. Oh, you were invisible. I just saw it at the last second. Any shoes I picked up recently besides the... Um, the reimagined fours? Uh, no. I've been kind of in a, in a shoe lull recently. I've only been picking up stuff that I really, really am super interested in. Please. I thought there was another person. Holy crust. No! This is w the one spot where this one person can see me. Um, but we have a lot of fours coming out this year. A lot of good fours coming out this year. So I've kind of just been biding my time. Where did this guy go? I tried to do a wall. It didn't work. Pick him up. Pick him up. I would do it myself, but you're right there. Excuse me. Oh. Oh, what the... Oh, you bank them here. Okay, 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 okay. I get it, I get it, I get it. So you don't actually have to stand here. You going for it? Unfortunate. Is this cash back in? Are you... <laughs> have we... <laughs> Is cash back in now slang for just yapping, bro? <laughs> if so, what a reference. No. no. I'm just talking about shoes, man. I'm just talking about sneakers. We got the, the military blues. We got the fears. We got a couple of. Uh, You've lost the lead. We got we got some we got some banger fours coming out. 
least randomly thrown destiny grenade of all time. Complete whiff, not even close. Why do I feel like we're just, we're just getting blobbed now? Where's the team? Where is literally the entire team? My team, not theirs. This guy still has hammers. That's crazy, dude. I evidently have a lot of crests. I don't know, just said like crest secured like 14 times. This guy's just standing here. And I didn't have a shoulder charge, so that's a bit unfortunate. What are you, what are you shooting at? What in the hell? Okay, where's the beacon? In the middle here, of course. Yeah. Okay, they're not worth as much extra. Holy team over here. up cook them up oh you're so lucky I don't have a grenade sorry to hear that Apple That was a deposit, bro. Oh, how am I alive? Psyche thought. Psyche really thought. Jump up. Do it. Do it. Do it. Really? That kills me. Where's the base? I don't know how many I got. Is there a place where it tells you how many you have? Evidently, I had seven. I do. Ah, yet another classic. Uh, we're not going to tell you how many kills you got. Game mode. Love that. How am I finding Imperial Decree? It's serviceable. I'm just glad like I have a consistent shotgun in the kinetic slot because i feel like i usually run with something i usually run with um matador in the in the energy slot because i was using a lot of uh, what you call it i was using fn um unending tempest quite a bit so now i'm kind of on the prosecutor train right now so it's been pretty good it's been pretty good don't want to use condish i mean i could use condish I'm trying to just get used to, like, not using Kandish. 
You know, I'm trying to get used to just like, what does a legendary shotgun actually feel like? And it's been fun. My, here's my issue. My aim is a bigger problem than like my ability to like secure a kill or whatever. If I need to switch, I will switch. Like if we're doing trials or something, I'll switch. But um, I'm just trying to get used to like the legendary shotgun life again because I've historically been a sniper. Or not historically, I'd say like the past three years I've been more of a sniper than a shotgunner, so I'm trying to get used to it again. Uh, Hell Jumper, Postal Gangsta, uh, and Taken Splitty Boy. <laughs> Thank you all very much for priming. Thank you very, very much. Uh, Adaliv with the 11 months. Big Joshy Ortiz with the 15. Welcome back, both of you. Apple Wow, sorry to hear about the food poisoning. I've been there. And, uh,. And seen here with 49 months. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, I'm not going to become a bow user. It's not going to happen. Yeah, I've, I've played a bunch of Helldivers. How much time do I have on Helldivers? I have 28 hours of playtime on Helldivers, but I'm guessing probably around 10 of those hours have been, like, was at the start when uh, it was impossible to get in the game. So it's, it's more, more like 20 hours. Like 20. Hey, thank you, Django. I also don't have a good, like, fracted dooski. In fact, I just saw mine in the post, uh, or in the, uh, in the old vault here. It has quick draw harmony. So. Do I care about the weekly challenge? Oh, God. What's the weekly challenge? That's Gambit. What subclass is it? Not our solar stasis strand. All right, someone yell at me. Holy. I think my nade just blew up in my hand. That's a bit unfortunate. No, oh, you... man, I cannot believe we did not take cover, uh, take priority of this angle here. Where is everyone? We're all dead. We're literally all dead. Maybe I need to go back to Unending Tempest. Ooh, I shot you in the bum. Excuse me? The one person using the scout rifle at the one range. Oh, come on. Why do I feel like we're going to get rolled this game? Where's our crest deposit? Welcome Raiders. Sorry, I was like, why are there so many new first chat messages right now? Welcome. That's our child. Yeah, I might need to go back to my uh, unending tempest here. I don't have any shotgun ammo. Why would you go in there? You're literally mental. This guy's in Discord with the way they're peeking, bro. Okay, I'm gonna go peek, I'm gonna go peek. You peek next, you peek next. Koya just absolutely oblivious to the surroundings happening. Sure. I don't even care about Glaive Guy. I care about Koya literally just being like, who is this guy? Is he on our team? I'm dead.
I don't have any shotgun ammo. Holy cow. Not last word guy again. Protect me. Never mind. When last word get good again? Yeah, when you're on a controller, it's amazing. Please, enemy team, end this game. This guy's trying out for the Olympics right now. SMGs, bro. I don't see enough freaking chance. Okay. Where, bro? Oh my god. What are you guys freaking doing? No map control. Of course, this thing disappeared again. Let me get no, <laughs> you don't even give me a chance. Please, teammate, don't go in there. You're oblivious. I will not take this disrespect. Any mercy rules? Getting shot before I even see this dude. Really? Thank you, teammate. Freaking really, bro? I'm cooking this guy. Still dying. Thank F. Get me out of here, bro. Holy shit. Any return to orbiters? Good lord. All right, let's try control. Holy. Daikiri Raiders, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Probably going to be an Iron Banner for a good chunk of the day. Uh, 
Uh, Mini33, thank you very much for dropping a Prime sub. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, let's check the roll on this thing. I did want to switch subclass, but here's the thing is I wanted to get out of that game more than I wanted to switch my subclass. Um... Let's see. What can this get? Envious Assassin, Enlightened Action. Slice, okay. I mean, you can get Envious Chain, Envious Bait. A lot of people talking Deconstruct recently. Someone's gonna have to clue me in on that. Also, GG, literal entire enemy team who came in here to be like, hey, GG, I just wanna make sure that you knew that I killed you a whole lot. Appreciate that, guys. <laughs> no. Switch out of this. Nope. 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 Got it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look at deconstruct. I hovered over deconstruct and they gave me an entire college dissertation on how the perk works, so I have to look at it again. Uh Eero, 15 months. How's Brim? He's good. He's gotta have a, a vet appointment soon, though. This this is like Nightmare Alley right here. Opponent claims zone B. Anyone want to shoot the six HP turret with me? <laughs> Got two bursted. Stone. If you think I'm going in there, you're out of your mind. I was going to have some questions. I was going to make some statements, and I was going to assume. Ratchet, 103 months. Holy cow. Another hundred monther. Thank you very much. What is happening? Zone A lost. I couldn't get it there in time. And it didn't even hit the wall. It's a straight vertical. Uh, that's unfortunate. Could have been a giga nade. I should never be a hundred meters, more than a hundred meters away from an effing point, bro. Okay, going here is a bad idea. Man, Titan can slide. I don't have a wall. Liking the hello, Dato BTW. Hey, thank you, Hordonsky. Thank you very much. Thank you for the 28 months as well. Thank you. Maybe I do need to put on like a revision zero right now or something. Come on, hot. You just gotta punch him. You let him go, and I die. Alright. It's pulse rifle time. 
give me my revision. <laughs> Zero. I'm done with this. Zone C lost. Excuse me. Sorry. This guy's sitting in a rift in Guatemala. I'm gonna reload and they're gonna pee. Yep. Oh, huge rift actually. Nope, can't buy that. I'm just surrounded. I have no... I literally cannot go anywhere. Just missed. I was going to be very mad if that killed me. Punch him, nice. There's two. Cool, I'm frozen. Five minutes. Massive well. This guy's been in the back of the map in their rift every single time that I've looked at them. And there's no way to engage them. I realize that I'm in a well of radiance and I just did that to that guy, but I wasn't taking any chances. Sure. Got behind me. Just spawning behind me. Sick. <laughs> Love that. Left. Team has a lot of good PvP players. Well, what does my team have? What's the point of walls? What's, you know, what's the point? What's the point of a titan wall? Zone B captured. Two zones. What's the point? It doesn't block anything in PvE. It doesn't block anything in PvP. What do we what do we do with walls? What what do, what would you say you do here? What would you say you do? Great time for a wall at one, 149. I tried to equip a shotgun that I did not have.
No, there's not a there's not a bug with wall. It's just the walls suck. The cold snap grenade hit somewhere. It chained to a target. And then I stood behind a wall. It went over the wall and still hit me. What's the point? What's the point of the wall? What's the point? Like, what are we doing here? Let me read this college dissertation on deconstruct. Dealing sustained damage grants bonus damage against vehicles and constructs and refunds ammunition. Okay, so people are in this for the for the refund. That's what they want. They want the refund. <laughs> Excuse me. Fifty percent of base magazine capacity rounded down plus two. So it'd be one plus two, so three. So three enemies hit, you get a you get a shot back. Okay. All right, I'd be willing to try it. I think I'd rather just still have envious chain reaction though. We'll see. So nice to get back into watching it again. Yeah, I thought that was the easiest kill of all time. I guess not. And nobody was watching middle. Sick. And we didn't even kill that guy. There was It was a 3v1. Guy did not die. And they are also capping C. We are already been triple capped. I'm over here. I can't I can't even cap this. I don't even know why I'm standing here. I can't cap it. I guess I'm gonna hold tab and then there's gonna be oh yeah all the people on this enemy team are really good too I was gonna say that was a, that was a hit that was a hit I'm trying to get rid of this wall here no overshields for you. There's a machine gun that I am hearing. I'm trying to help light over here. It's a 2v2 though. No vision. Sure. No, he's coming this way. You're supposed to go the other way. Okay, I can't stay here.
Wow, you're literally right here. Okay. Can't really push that. Any map control in the chat? Do we have anything? Any control of anything? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hey. That hey. multiplex match was trash. Glad I finally got to play with you. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Oh my god. That's a lot. Wow, we somehow capped it. Okay. I'll take it. I feel like I need to go around. Just want to get that wall down. Nice. All right, unfortunately, not too many points from that one, but at least it's something. Yagami, 47 months. Thank you very much. Hi, Snackless. Hi. Why, bro? Uh-huh, you gotta leave your well. I gotta drop a ward over there. Okay. Zone advantage is yours. That was that was a that was a decision that you made. I'm not sure if it was the right one, but but you made it. You're gonna have to live with that one. Where the hell is this guy? Oh my god, he's back there. Oh my god. Oh, you lucky boy. Cool. Didn't get him, and I was fucking one HP as I popped my super. So I just needed to use it. Get out of my face. This guy's still trying, huh? Yeah, uh, just ban that guy outright, please. Thank you. I was just like, yep, I'm gonna keep getting sucked because I like the way it feels. Oh, good. Woo! Having a great time. Right back at full HP. <laughs> oh boy.
Cap, Cap B, Cap B, get over there. Oh my god, we could have had a freaking triple cap. Shatter's just wandering around. Cooking! Mmm, fragging! Why is there a child on the ceiling? The streamer who purposely set himself on fire and left Little, little late on that, uh, Well of Radiance there, Lean. Unfortunate. But I appreciate the attempt. That's our. Oh, everyone's gonna sit in that bubble. The only way through it is to knock it down, which is just not going to happen. Any supers on our team, we have zero. They just got three. So it is not looking good. Truly unfortunate stuff here. This guy's in a Dawnblade. He's no longer in a Dawnblade. Woo! Great stuff. That is unfortunate. Our guardian fights for as long as they intend to. Find me again. I mean, I didn't even do that good, so I have literally zero room to talk, but. I'll give it to you. I need to get one. No, I'm out of here. Uh, Buckman with the three months. Oh, God. Swap yourself. Eh, that's right. Wonderful. Also, I'll tell you all right now. If it's just if this is just stomp, 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 and I'm just Let running back and forth. Seven Dato and chat. If this is just running back and forth, the game mode, I'm probably just gonna go back to solo queue. Hello everyone, I hope you all having a good day seems good. I'm just saying, historically, whenever I'm in a six stack, I just run back and forth. That's all I do. I just run back and forth, and I don't really do anything. And uh, I would rather play and lose, but at least I get to do something, versus just win every game, but I just run back and forth between the spawns. Um, NSU Varna, 36, a lot of subs just coming in over the past 10 minutes. Holy cow. Uh, NSU Varna with the three years of sub in 36 months. Uh, Hot 217, good to see you again. You're listening to Hot 217. You're listening to Brim. He's being a plopper. Thank you very much for the 38. Yeah, I think that game was kind of ass. 
Uh, Yagami with the 47. MJ Ball with 23. Kiggles with 20. Both of you coming up on two years. Thank you very, very much. Sheep Dragon hitting double digits with the 10 months. Welcome back. Uh, Buttered Loafs with the 35 months. Very close to three years. T. Jackstone with 26. Manda with 11. Gerg with a 68. Thank you very much for the 68. Catholic Cardinal with the six months and one with the five months. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, thank you. Thinking about getting a Destiny tattoo. Any suggestions? I am not tattoo guy. I have no idea. I also don't know you, so I have no idea. Have I been enjoying PvP more since the sandbox update? Yes. Absolutely. Get the Iron Banner tree on your back. I have the Iron Banner tree on my front. And people who have seen me without a shirt know what I'm talking about. And I will not be discussing it further. Crabs are scary. Thank you very much for the new sub. Thank you very much for seven. Yeah, Poison, I have uh, Vado working on it right now. I'm going to take a short break when it is completed so that I may review it and then get it uploaded. Am I going to recustomize my character looks when Into the Light comes out? Um, probably not. But I also usually, like, don't have my helmet off in the tower or anything like that. Like, I don't really do anything that would necessitate a, uh, a, re a revision of my character looks. And also, I, you know, I design them... When I first made them in a way that I thought looked neat. I wasn't some psycho that was like, what if I made my characters look really dumb? Haha. -ha. That would be funny, right? And then one day later be like, I regret everything. <laughs> um, so I don't think I'll be making any, at least no massive changes. Ooh, that's a whole team. It's not going to be stomps, they said. It's kind of 50-50, they said. <laughs> Type an ass shovel. Caught. Can you change from, from masculine to feminine? Because that's, I think, probably going to be the biggest change that happens with a lot of people. Because armor, at least for Titans, because Titan... Titan armor on female looks way better than male. It just does. It looks way, 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 way better. Bonk you in the head. So I do think a lot of people will end up switching, switch, switching, switching to to female characters as a result. Sorry, feminine characters. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm alive. Nah. Uh, I couldn't tell you if the same applies to warlock and hunter armor, but it wouldn't surprise me if it did. But I think all of my characters are already feminine characters. Um, so I will not be making any significant changes to my characters. Wow, you're dead. Wow, they literally have zero. Male warlock looks way better. Okay. So I think, I think the, uh, the, the fashion meta of what character looks better in what will, uh, will, um, 
will take place. But also, like, you you can just literally change it whenever. It's not like a one-timer. You know, you can kind of do it whenever you want. Oh. Is that Streak? That seems like a very generous kill that I just got. I'm not going to lie. Is that the Striegmeister? Where are they all at? Y'all in this building? Huh? I feel like I'm crazy. Female Titan proportions look weird to me. Ty male Titans, just they're just kind of bulky, I feel like. I don't know. I've always liked the look on, on female way more. If I mantled, I would have kept fighting. Five minutes left. Sound tactics so far. Sometimes you want that chonky Titan and you can't on female frames. Eh, just switch. Just freaking switch, who cares? Just do whatever you want. Uh, I, I like the I like the female look a little bit better. No. Please. That's that's bold right there. I don't know. I don't know what the, the what the plan was there, but just charge face first into a bubble with three people there. No super. Right, let's go put it in the one. Let me put it in the one. Got it. No, I'm stuck in this box. You think they'll add some features or, some, or same old ones? I'm not anticipating to, them to add any. It'd be cool if they did, but I am, I am not anticipating them putting a lot of work into the character customization menu. Whoa, that's some people behind us. Oh, that's the, never mind. Am I exploding? No. Oh, Giga Crest. Kind of hoping there were multiple people there. There weren't. I thought there were. Feel bad for the lady zoot. Yeah, and no, sorry, I was talking specifically about... Ooh, there it is. Pulse Monitor Swash. Ooh. Not what I'm looking for. Um, yeah, I was talking about uh, uh, face customization stuff. Um, shouldn't be allowed to switch from male to female or other way around. Why not? Who cares? Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. It'd be cool if they did, but also Destiny's just like not that kind of game. You know, when you spend most of your time in uh, in this kind of armor, you're not even seeing your face. You're not like your, your body proportions just like don't even really matter. I don't know if they wanted to cool, but I am not character customization guy. When I see a character customization screen like Dragon's Dogma or like Baldur's Gate, oh gosh, yeah, I'm just kind of like, oh here we go, give me the default. I'm I'm so bad at. It. Forty-four months. Fuck. Can't wait for the new craftable weapons. Here's to hoping Whisper might be usable now. Dato S. Isn't Whisper kind of usable right now? Isn't it kind of usable on the final boss of uh, Warlord's Ruin? So it's like, it's kind of usable right now. I'll say that. Whoa. Lol, they chasing me. Oh, lol, they chasing. Oh, this is a bad spot. Forerunner. Found the one Forerunner spot. To not be in. I have to go uh, hand canon or something. Oh, that's a lot of people. We're going to go this. Yeah, Goofy Goose. It literally just based off that first engagement, I was like, it's, it's going to be one of those games with this person. Also, we're fighting a six stack. I don't like it. Your opponent pulled ahead. You cut their momentum. Keep pushing. Let's go with the blob. Please. I don't have any ammo. No, I'm surrounded. Take my crest. Didn't I kill this guy? He's still got sword ammo. Or did heavy ammo just come up again already that I'm just like brain dead? No entry. Right, these guys uh, clearly wanted more than I do. So I'm looking forward to this entire team showing up in the chat in about three minutes.
zero way to engage. Yeah, least competitive Iron Banner team. This guy's just gone. Can't even get a can't even get a freaking melee to connect. Yeah, I've gotten one GL, which is really all you need to to start getting rolling, because at least you unlock it in the um, you lock unlock it at what's his face. So now I can just start buying them. Rogue hundred thirty three, Floyd Bishop forty four. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Wonderful day, Guardian. Thank you very much. Zomas, 20 months. I don't know why your thing didn't play. Um, but I'm glad you uh, I'm, I'm glad you liked the video. Thank you very much for the 20 months. What role am I looking for? Right now, I'm just looking for, like, an envious chain. I'd even do, like, an envious hatchling. I think that could be kind of neat. Uh, someone just posted in the uh, in my raid team's Discord. Just got a deconstruct roll and tested it half the time. You're oh no, this is someone literally in my chat. Gleniverse. Half the time you're already in the reload animation while the freebie loads. Ooh. Hey King Taco, best of luck, best of luck. Did I get disconnected? What happened? Playing the same people. So much for that, uh, we're gonna break up the teams and try to find different matchmaking. <laughs> now nah, we left. It was a good call, not fighting them. Uh, the Great Keho with the gifted sub. Anonymous with the gifted sub as well. Thank you very, very much. And uh, Reno, thank you very much for priming. Stay 
Lady Zoot, GG. Sorry about the uh, sorry about the stack. I remember that one. Least mobile Destiny player. What the hell was that? I literally thought that guy was already dashing away because I saw the Warlock skate that way or, or Icarus dash that way. So I was just like, he's not here anymore, dead. <laughs> no, I don't want to be stuck here. Well... Ball. My point now. Yoink. Wow, that guy is literally dead. Holy lagging out. Time to cross. Let the wolves rest. The hunt is over. Zone C captured. Opponent claimed zone A. Please. What the splodes? Get rid of that wall. Nade incoming. So predictable. Nope, not fighting two, y'all. here dude from there bro what are you standing right next to a well for dude and now it's out so yeah a challenge but like I'm going to die before I can even get this thing off. <laughs> uh. That is an enemy.
This super's dog shit. It's so shit. Three piece ready to go. I get one shotted out of it. Dog shit super. Dog shit. Arc Titan dog shit supers. Holy cow. Please buffed anything about the supers. God, they're so bad. Fist of Havoc, ass. Thunder Crash, ass. Everything about them, ass. Holy fuck. Still so shit. So bad. God damn. The one time. The one time I can actually, like, do a prediction super and, like, I see three of them running. I'm going to anticipate them. Not only do I get one shot it out of it. I forgot I was, what else I was going to say. But, like, Brother Man is literally looking for me in the super before I even do it. Holy cow, bro. Trash super. Can't even sideswipe people anymore. Can't sideswipe people. Doesn't last long. Dies to one shotgun shot. Ass super. Ass. Also, longest cooldown. Longest cooldown, least lethality. Someone make it make sense. Make it make sense. Checking, checking, checking. Meanwhile, 14 Ward of Dawn's going out. Our guardian fights for us. Someone make it make sense, bro. Find me again. How many more of these? I'm done. Give me my dust. Yes. 4,000. Dust, I'm rich. I'm rich. Ooh, give me that dust. Yeah. Did you see the state of Arc Strider roaming? You mean with your ability to like block things and reflect projectiles to get into melee range? 40 months? That's crazy. Love the recent non-Destiny stuff. Doesn't do shit. I've watched Jez's latest videos, and I can assure you it does way more than Fist of Havoc. What does Fist of Havoc do? Nothing. You pop it and then die. I'd rather Fist of Havoc just go back to what it used to be, which is just a one-off. Just make it a one-off, give it a slightly bigger radius, and let's call it a day. Because that super is unusable. Absolutely unusable. Hold, please.
Now, Arc Titan neutral game is totally fine, but their supers are trash. Their supers are the worst. All right, after this game, we're going to check out... Or I'm going to review the, the cut of the vid. Whoops. And, uh, and make a thumbnail. Need a good, uh, what are we gonna use as a screenshot? Probably like Whisper, or uh, for, sorry, for a thumbnail, probably like Whisper or uh, Zero Hour Press Kit art. Zero Hour Destiny Press Kit. Let's see, Zero Hour. Iron Banner. No results found, come on. Their press kit only goes back to like 2019. Ah! Yeah, I just I gotta go find some like some some old like press kit art, high res screenshots or whatever. Two? That whole time? Alright. Thought I picked up more. Zero Hour came out in season 10? Oh. Maybe I do need to switch to Condish. I don't know. I think I got hit. The range on that is crazy. I was six. Okay. What came out in 10? What am I what what was what was season 10? Didn't they add something in 10? Hawkmoon, that was 12. Maybe even 13. Dude, where are they at? No, I know 10 was worthy. I'm, I'm talking about what exotic mission did they add. Nothing? Okay. Then I had it confused. whole team there. I'm dunking one. It's better than nothing. And I'm right here. Save me! They're chasing! Or not. Sick. Can we get a loadout change? Something off meta, perhaps? Do you, you realize I'm in the Iron Banner playlist? where happiness goes to die. I cannot change. 
this loadout. I would love to. I will otherwise have no chance to even do anything. thing has a lot of a lot more bullets in it than I thought. No, the bubble actually saved him. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Sidearm go crazy. Holy speaking of crazy. What the heck? This guy was loaded. Why are you coming in here with seven crests, bro? Seven crests. Two of them. Hit the yoinky sploinky. Sound tactics. Oh my god. I would love to move in to this room. Okay, what kind of supers do they have? They have a well, they have a bubble. I have to hold. And my only objective will be to destroy whatever they have. I don't even I don't even care about killing somebody. I just want to destroy the architecture. Really not die, or did I just not get any damage? Oh. Well, I'll stand here all day. Oh, you're literally over there. Oh, thank you. Why are there more of you? I'm going in. Crestfold, crestfold. Kind of thought, uh... No... Dune marchers were uh, supposed to be Dune a little bit more than they are. Holy. That was toxic as hell. No. Yeah, they, they do not be doing a whole lot right now. I'm not going to lie. Oh, I didn't get the buff. Most observant Destiny player.
can't have nothing, man. Just can't have nothing. You do a little, you do a little nice grenade action. You do a little outplay. You can't have nothing, man. You can't have nothing. All right. Crazy scores going on. Would love to know how many kills and or deaths that I got. And best I can do, score of an arbitrary number. Wee wee. All right, we're going to take a short detour over to content creator world. I'm going to run an ad real quick while I get all my stuff uh, synced up and ready. Um, I do need to upload this and make a quick thumbnail. And then we're going back to the banner. So give me one moment. Sink. Oh, I don't have to resync. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna be playing this back super fast, by the way. So if you don't understand what's happening in the video, like, don't worry about it. I'm just making sure that it looks good. What's the next Bungie Live next week? Okay, I'm gonna just mute the music here as well. 4K res image of Outbreak perfected. No, I am looking for art of the mission itself. I'm not looking for a picture of the gun. I got a billion pictures of Outbreak perfected. I need like the I need like the green room, or I need you know, some other, like, key art from the mission, just high res, at least 720. Like, I don't need it to really be anything more than that. Um, but I need it to be... Let me see. Okay. Um, I'm looking through images... All of these pictures are of, like, really specific things in the mission. I need, like, less specific. Like, this is good. I'll see what I can do with that. All right, hang on. We're going to go as fast as possible here. So third stream just happened we have like three different things to discuss we have exotic missions returning we have new pvp maps and then we have a bunch of smaller but also kind of big things uh, that were announced after that so the first thing that i want to mention is that in my god roll video i mentioned at the top of the video that all of these or half of these weapons were going to be time gated to like may like the last weapon was going to come out two weeks before the expansion bungie has changed that so now it's going to be two weapons per week so it's only a time gate of three weeks now so the last batch of weapons will come out on april 30th so i told you it's going to be fast now in order to go actually earn all those weapons as opposed to like you know your favorite weapon showing up in the last two weeks and then you're trying to panic uh which is a very good move uh i really don't know the decision making behind you know walling that off time getting that I, they had to have known that they were gonna make a lot of people mad doing that so i think this change is very good i think a lot of people would also just prefer everything launching at once but i also understand them not wanting to completely overload people so i think this is a nice in-between thing but i really don't know what they were thinking time getting it that far out because it's like what are you doing all right so exotic missions are coming back in whisper and outbreak these are two very very beloved exotic missions that were pre beyond light so i'm guessing there was some extensive amount of like rebuilding that they had to do to bring these back into the game normal mode is gonna be 40 minutes and back then these missions were 20 minutes but the legend version of these which is where a lot of the you know extra cool stuff is gonna be legend mode is still 20 minutes as we knew it way back then so no worries about that if you just want to run through a normal mode you don't really have to worry too much about the time limit 
getting started fine because like the super cool stuff and the higher difficulty is back to 20 minutes as people who were playing back then will remember to get back into the whisper mission you are not gonna have to wait for a public event to show up and then do a special thing and then hope you know that if, if you you know mess it up it comes back right away i think they said you're gonna talk to harris Morton, and she's gonna tell you some cool stuff and then you'll be able to go right to the mission i wasn't really expecting them to do that the way i think they said you're gonna talk to harris Morton, and she's gonna tell you some cool stuff and then you'll be able to go To Eris Morn, and she's gonna tell you some cool stuff, and then you'll be able to go right to the mission. I wasn't really expecting them to do that again. Like, I don't know. Been... I was like, did I just start talking in my own brain? What happened? There? The novelty, I guess, if you could do it either way, or like it was only that way for the first hour. I don't know, but I, they were not going to limit how often you could come into this mission after how it went the first time, which was, you know, I remember that first weekend. People were waiting like hours and hours for this mission to come around before they could even try it again. So it was what it was, you know, part of the novelty. I understand. I understand. But it's that's not where we're at right now. You know, that's not where we're at. Some items have been moved around, some other things have been moved around. I'm not really expecting the geometry of either the Whisper Mission or Zero Hour to really have changed in a very significant way. They did stop pretty early on, so there might be some small things that have changed, but from what we've seen so far, this place is pretty much exactly how I remember it. Um, so I'm not like, anticipating too many things there, although they did say that they reworked both of the boss fights and in terms of that, things are being updated to this current day standards uh, because you know we got these this mission came out almost six years ago so it was basically you know year one still of destiny where we had double primary so they had to make some changes to kind of bring it up to date uh, they also mentioned strand like grapple and e your edge i mean this person's literally using the e your edge sword right now um it doesn't seem like they made too many changes to sort of counter the use of those things like they were pretty like yeah you know like we know they exist and like use them like go nuts so that i think was about it for whisper there are new ships to earn in these missions so each one of these missions had a unique ship uh the whisper ship is still like one of the ships that are released whereas the zero hour one was the drifter ship which was like with all clunky and all that kind of stuff and uh so they've made updates to both so if you have the og versions you can hang on to those but there'll be new ones to earn in both of the missions zero hour it's kind of a lot of the same thing what they talked about in these sections were just sort of like the development process and the ideas and for zero hour they talked a lot about trevor which is the robot that was hunting you down in that maze and, and sort of the inspiration to that this is some pretty interesting stuff if you're interested in sort of like the development process or the background a lot of these things they, they explained how trevor got uh his, his name the acronym otherwise not too much information because they only ran through like the first five minutes louder. of the mission so there's not really a whole lot to okay. talk about without seeing a lot more but i am anticipating both of the missions to essentially be as they were for the most part as we got them way back when you know five and six years ago whatever again 40 minute timer for the normal mode uh, for people who just like want to run it and not be stressed out about timer a lot of the cooler stuff you're gonna need to earn in legend mode which is a 20 minute timer plus i assume increased enemy difficulty so moving on from the missions themselves whisper of the worm and outbreak are both going to be craftable whisper is coming with barrels and magazines and then this middle perk here is going to either be mulligan or field prep or no distractions or enlightened action whisper is also getting a reserves bump it's going from 18 to 24 in reserves but otherwise the weapons are as you know them you'll just be able to craft them with a custom perk here in the middle for outbreak a uh, rabbit hit has been suggested one trillion times they are putting rabbit hit in the all right, looking good so far. For Outbreak Perfected, you're also getting Rewind Rounds. Outlaw is staying there, and Headseeker is also here. Um, I know something uh, people are going to be absolutely using Rabbit Hit, considering the weapon. Rewind, I think, is also somewhat viable, but I'm sure there's going to be a good amount of testing done. But, you know, sometimes it's tough to beat that, that stability from, from Rabbit Hit, and, and Rabbit Hit's real speed is also very, very good. So, very, very highly requested perk to see on Outbreak Perfected. Like, people talking about the catalyst, like, add it to the catalyst and this and that. There you go. You can add Rabbit Hit or Wee Woo Rounds uh, to your Outbreak Perfected as soon as these missions come out. Speaking of which, Whisper is coming out in April, and Zero Hour in May is, I believe, what they said for when these missions are coming back. In terms of, like, thoughts, am I, I going to run these exotic missions a lot? I'll run them to get all the items and then I'll be done, which is what I anticipate you know bungie is anticipating people are going to do but i'm pretty happy to see these missions come back to the game because they are two of the best pieces of content that i think the game's ever gotten these missions have had insanely high praise from everyone who's played them so i'm just glad that they're back because there's probably such a massive audience of people who have joined the game in the past you know two three four years even that did not get to play these things next we have the pvp maps and bungie did essentially like a kind of like a fly through of each of these maps so may 7th three new pvp maps in addition to a playlist to play just these maps for 3v3 but i do think they could all easily be played in a 6v6 format these maps are much smaller they're not like disjunction they're not like multiplex where they're these gigantic maps that need to be adapted for every single mode these are much more what i would consider traditional destiny maps we're having one on europa we have one on yamuna we have one that is a pyramid ship themed although it's like basically in root of nightmares and bungie did a fly through of all of the maps i don't really have a ton to say on them you know i'll kind of like skip through they did a little first person they did a little uh, third person just kind of camera action so i'll let some gameplay kind of fly through here and they all like look pretty good you know i, I think this Yamuna one got a lot of praise for uh for how it, it looks but i mean they all look really really good it's just a matter of how are they going to play and you can't really get that vibe too much from just a fly through of the maps you know like how are they actually gonna play are they fun to play because i've said this you know a million times bungie can make all the new maps that they want but if they don't play well, if I don't want to play on them, it doesn't even matter, right? Like, you kind of spit, no. Multiplex, whatever disjunction pops up, I'm just kind of like, and multiplex, yeah, I got pretty tired of pretty quickly. These maps, again, looking a bit more traditional. They look like they could fit a 6v6. They are built specifically for, like, a 3v3 competitive focus. He's spitting. They wanted to bolster. Let him cook. Experience the comp experience a little bit, but I don't think there's any reason why these could not show up in a 6v6 format uh, to, to some degree. So that's all I really have for the PvP maps because you guys are not here for me uh, for PvP, but I will be happy to play them. I'll kind of let this one scroll through as well, but uh, I would just check out the, the live stream itself or talk to your local PvP expert if you want some more intel on these maps. I just don't have a lot because, you know, we gotta play on first, right? After this, Bungie had a few more announcements. So the first thing is that there will be a title and a seal for Into the Light. The title's called Brave. Uh, what a surprise. Uh, but that was something that I was wondering if there was going to be, and there is. So there is a title to go earn. Next, they are introducing a, uh, a thing where you can skip the new light experience and just hop immediately into the game. So if you have some friends who are like yeah i know how to play shooter or you know you have friends in general that you can coach you can just tell them to skip the new light experience you don't 
Can someone get me the uh, a link to the image of like the two guys, uh, like looking backwards and pointing and being like, that meme. You guys know what I'm talking about. I just want like want an exact thing because I, I think I want to make that the thumbnail. Take like the hours that it takes to do, and they also will give you one of these, so you can just immediately unlock some kind of a kit for whatever class you select. It comes with some gear, it comes with some class abilities, armor class, blah blah blah. So you're just gonna be able to hop right in and combine with the gift of the thunder, thunder gods or thunder lords. Either way, the chest that you pick up, you're basically gonna be able to immediately hop into the game from like like five minutes in. You can have an almost kitted out character. It is thunder gods. Okay, you're gonna be able to have an immediately kitted out character within five to ten minutes of logging on to the game. You're whether you're a new player, you're a returning player, whatever you want. Why is it I downloaded? Awesome. I don't want it to character download. I just want to. Uh, but this is coming with into light. This is kind of like a you know reminder. Yeah, this. To customize your character with uh, whatever they got going on here. They're giving out a name change token for into light. So if you want to change your name. You're you're gonna be able to do that. Also, a couple of bigger <laughs> things. Number one is a mode called Pantheon, which I mentioned during one of the previous streams. Here's what they said. It is a raid boss gauntlet coming on April 30th. There's uh, gonna be an upcoming twid, a bunch of updates that will go over what this is going to be. But they said you're gonna be able to face, uh, face raid bosses with escalating difficulties and rewards to earn uh, exotics, adept weapons, and old raid emblems. I'm not anticipating them relaunching the day one raid emblems or anything like that, but just old raid emblems if you didn't happen to go get them from the past. Very excited to see what this is, but literally this image is all we have, which is just the raid symbol. So look out for the twid coming, I don't know, I don't know which twid they're gonna mention it in. Very excited. This is something that I've been, you know, fantasizing about for the past few years now. Like, oh, would it be cool if all right, almost like done. Gauntlet of all the different raid bosses. I know I've said this in the past during live streams where people ask me, like, hey, what raid do you want to have come back? I was like, I think it'd be cool to have just like a gauntlet of raid bosses. Just like you just fight them all in a row. And uh, so I'm very, very excited to see what this ends up being because I think it'd be pretty cool. Especially if it's, you know, they, I mean, they said old raid emblems are coming back, which I'm assuming to mean that they're potentially bringing back old raid bosses, right? Stuff that's no longer in the game. Uh, uh, Crown of Sorrow, Scourge, you know, whatever. So very excited to see what's going on with this. Very, very excited. And then finally, they are showing some Final Shape gameplay next Tuesday, April 9th. This is 30 minutes before Into the Light goes live. So I don't know how long this live stream is going to be. It might just be 30 minutes, it might be an hour, I don't know. But they're starting at 9.30, which makes me think that they want to have it be done as Into the Light goes live. But we're going to have some gameplay. Uh, if there's enough stuff to break down, I will totally do some sort of a recap video for it. Yeah, it could just be a trailer. I mean, it's a, it's a gameplay preview. So I'm assuming we're going to have some devs sitting down, playing Final Shape, and taking us through a little something, something, maybe talking about some uh, some features that are coming. So yeah, so it, it, look, it does look like uh, 30 minutes before the gameplay preview, and then the Into the Light trailer comes out as Into the Light goes live, which is like, I mean, okay. This is the emblem for watching the final shape gameplay preview i'm not gonna lie it's a nice looking emblem it's at 15 minutes for the uh for the emblem so you have to watch 15 minutes of the 30 minutes of the final shape gameplay reveal in order to get this emblem make sure all of your accounts are linked up make sure your drops are working on twitch because this i think will be the only time you'll be able to earn this and unless they you know make it possible to earn sometime down the road um in terms of thoughts like yeah i mean i kind of mentioned my thoughts on the exotic missions uh, i'm very glad to see them back I, you know i'm gonna play them in a crafted version of the weapons and get the new ship and the collectibles and the this and the that whatever else comes out i'm happy that these you know really really high quality missions are coming back to the game i would love to see like Niobe labs come back one day that would be sick just like restoring a lot of like the greatest hits of destiny putting them back in the game the new PvP maps look good. I hope they make their way into the 66 rotation, so you can just kind of play them casually. Um, hopefully PvP players are going to be happy about those maps, but that's more of like a to-be-determined situation because we need to see how they're actually going to play. But they do feel a bit more reminiscent of the typical map experience that we are used to in the game. Pantheon, I mean, looks pretty sick. I mean, I can't even say it looks pretty sick. We literally have a screenshot of the raid as the, the only piece of information that we have. This is literally all we have, but it sounds, it sounds dope. I want to see how they execute upon it. I'm, I'm very much looking forward to reading about and seeing what this is actually going to be in terms of like the gameplay experience and all that, escalating difficulty, uh, raid boss gauntlet. Like, I'm, I'm pretty stoked to see what this is going to be. Pretty, pretty stoked. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring the chat back up. Uh, Chat, let me get a vibe check because I feel like vibes are kind of up right now. I feel like we're kind of vibing. Like exotic missions coming back that like everyone has wanted them to come back. Outbreak perfected, getting rapid hit. We're getting some new PVP maps. Raid gauntlet. Like I, I feel like vibes are kind of up right now. They're pulling out some stops. We'll say. I, I think we're I think we're heading into final shape pretty strong. I, I think you know they're they're trying to they're trying to keep vibes as high as possible going into final shape, and hopefully that means you know some good times for, for final shape as well. You know I, I think the first couple streams there's been some apprehension from just like the community in general. I, I don't know what in, in this stream people will be like yeah, but that's like dude new PVP maps old missions coming back that everybody asked for pantheon announcements. We're getting some final shape gameplay preview. Like I don't know this is this is this is looking pretty good as far as a celebration of all of destiny. I mean like yeah, it's all free update too. Like it's, it ain't bad. I can understand the apprehension. Of like, all right, what's the catch? You know, what's gonna go wrong? And I like, I totally understand it. I totally understand that. But right now, I think I'm just gonna take the dub. I feel, I feel pretty good about that, especially now that they combined, you know, the, the like adding to that the, the reduced time gating of the brave arsenal weapons. Like that's only that's like cut in half now. So I don't know. I for me, my vibes are kind of uh, plus. I kind of up. Uh, just send a little uh, more. Uh, plus I. I'm gonna give us a little more space. No up. Uh, plus, I assume, increased enemy difficulty. What's up, shitheads? Okay, I'm kind of recording. Please don't call my audience shitheads. <laughs> Only I can do that. <laughs> I might have to, I'm going to censor it for YouTube. What's up, shit? What's up, shitheads? Okay, I'm kind of recording. Please don't call my audience shitheads. <laughs> <laughs> Heads. Only I can do that. <laughs> A little more space. Otherwise, this is perfect. 
perfect, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. When's the last time you invoiced me, Vada? Pretty sure you owe me a effing invoice for quite a lot of stuff. Invoice me. Invoice me. All right, let me see this meme again. Hang on. Okay. So, like this way. Okay. All right, let's. I'm going to get the mic out of the way. How'd I get so quick at editing? I hired someone. <laughs> All right. Hang on. Should we record it here? Actually, let's just go full face cam. True webcam only. Sorry. Okay, here. Let me get the chair out of the way. Wonderful right, day, Guardian. My arm a little farther back. Protect our opinion by any means necessary. Datoe, datoe, datoe. I have to be like down here. Okay. <laughs> Take screenshots of that. <laughs> we'll see if that worked. I'm just going to kneel for a sec. More excited in the eyes. Brother man does not look excited in this one. Let me let me see what I recorded. Hang on. I'll see if I need to redo it. We got a high res picture though. We should be okay. Liquify my eyes bigger. No. It's weird. All right, here we go. Let's bring up Photoshop. I wasn't even looking at the camera. Okay, I gotta do it again. What is he looking at the camera? He kinda is and kinda not. Alright, I'll redo it. I need to take off the glass. I'll take off the glasses for one. Yeah, I'll take this guy has no glasses on, right? Like that. Okay. Was that, I couldn't, I literally could not even see. No, nah, the headset can stay on, that's fine. Oh, that's better. Hang on, that's much better. Okay. All right. There we go. And then where's the first one? <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> this is so dumb. Okay, it's also not going to be that big. I want it exactly proportioned. Exactly. So here, I'm going to just copy this. Okay. Like that. Okay. So here, and then I'm going to bring myself right here. Okay, I'm a little big here. Let's see. That's pretty good. I guess I'm not, okay, making it go a little bit bigger. There you go. That's good. And then this one. Oh, even the point is like on par. Oh, I guess I wasn't like leaning, I wasn't leaning back. I wasn't leaning back enough, but that's okay. 
All right, let's let's chop me out here. With the wrong selection tool selected. Sorry, we should get like some music playing in the background. <laughs> There we go. Cool. Make sure to select other parts of my headset. Um, I'll reselect the rest of it. There we go. So now we just got that. And then we have this. Wait, W? It is W. Why does it go with quick selection? Watch it cr crop out my glasses. Oh, it didn't do it that time. Yeah, I'm kneeling right now, in case I need to retake the pictures. Wow, it actually got most of my headset at that time. That and... Wow, that was like the first time I'm not going to actually have to crop out my headset. Okay, move me over here and like that. Okay. How's that look? I mean, this isn't like 4-3, so I mean, I'm doing what I can. <laughs> Okay, and then... Like that. And this. It'd be better if I could have a picture of Trevor. Let me see if I can find Trevor. Oh! Oh, this is... Okay, this is good. I just have to make it a little bit bigger, but that's okay. Ellie, like, you can barely even tell that that is there. I mean, if anything, if we want, really want to get bougie with it, I can hit you with an effing classic gradient. Now you can't even really tell at all. Okay. Um, let's give you a drop shadow. You're going to go that way. Or not an outer glow. Drop shadow. There we go. Now. Now what? We need some text. We need some text. I mean, I would love to just do it like this with no text. But I think we need text. What are my other two thumbnails? Hang on. I just want to see... Because what I was really considering doing is... Um, hang on. So this was... This was the second thumbnail. And then this was the first one. So I was going from kind of like more sus to like, okay. And then the next one I wanted to go like really crazy on it. Okay, they're back. Into the light revealed... Maybe just like zero hour slash uh, whisper missions return. Something like that. That's not even the most hype thing to me, though. Unvault Unvaulted or returned? Unvaulted's kind of good. Bungie did it again. Zero hour slash whisper unvaulted. And raid gauntlet. Okay, here. If you want to know what font size I normally use, it's 123. I 
probably gonna just shrink it down a smidge. Channel five. Stroke. See, I also don't want to hide my face. That's the problem. But I, if I put the text behind me, then like you're, you're missing a block of text. It's like our back. I move me over a smidge. What about something like that? Transparent text. Oh, I mean, I could do El Clasico. I haven't done that in a, in a minute. A little overlay double it up maybe a little soft light instead to make it a little readable how's that look from far what about like not and like plus it should be plus something like that you can kind of tell it's trevor in the background a little bit all right i think that's good Zero hour, our back. We're getting new PvP maps and even a raid boss gauntlet on the 30th. Okay. Remove the. I put the there just to kind of space it out a little bit better, but let's see. Spacing issue. Nope. F me. Where's the spacing issue? Plus raid. Oh, I removed the plus. Okay. Wait, what? Does this have an extra space? What is going on? So weird. I don't know. Soft light. I want to bring it down a smidge. I want it to be a little bit darker. See that? Versus that. That versus that. Yeah, that's fine. Why not call it Pantheon? Because nobody knows what Pantheon means. Right? If I just say Pantheon, people are like, what the hell is Pantheon? If I say Raid Gauntlet, people are like, wait, what? Call it not Scourge. Um, okay. All right, we're almost done. But they'll be curious. Yeah, it's it's trust. It, it, the searchability is not that good. People are people are not searching for Pantheon as much as they're searching for Raid. When it actually comes out and more people know it as Pantheon, or any time I reference it after this, 
I will call it Pantheon, but for the first time, I'm going to call it the Raid Gauntlet. Okay, it does not include pay promotion. Uh, let's do Into the Light, Dev Livestream, Pantheon, PvP Maps, Whisper, out, Outbreak, Zero Hour. Okay. Monetization. I don't know. Let's do El Classico. I'll let YouTube decide. And boom. There we go. Add suitability. <sighs> There's inappropriate language at the very end. Violence? No, I don't know. There's nothing. It says moderate profanity used frequently in the video. It's used one time and it's censored. Eat my wang. Consume wang. Ingest penile. Um, this can go live at 2.15. 2.15. I didn't actually save the thumbnail. Upload file. Do, do, do. Let's not look at my tax folder. <laughs> and there we go. To do to do and I think we are done okay you know what video has been actually kind of popping off recently is the guess the exotic weapon based on the intrinsic symbol video I think kind of has been it's been getting some views recently I don't know what's up but I'll take it I will take it this is not the chair that I normally use. I was wondering why I couldn't change my <laughs> positioning here, but all right, whatever, where I'm gonna sit in it. Okay. Uh, appreciate your time in that interlude. Um, I think we have another break coming up pretty shortly, another ad break pretty shortly. So I'm just gonna run it now. And, uh, and we'll queue up, and we're going to just play some little bit more Iron Banner, and then I'll thank some subs. All right? Sound good? Be right back. Wonderful day, Guardian.
I'm back. Sorry. What did she do while she was in here? What did she do? Just tell me now. Because I'll go back and look at it. She said a swear. Not on my Christian Minecraft stream. How are you going to leave me in suspense for a ghost shell, bro? What's this lethal abundance? Keep away, tap the trig. Okay, I mean, that's not like the worst, like, PvP roll, I guess, but... Um, I might as well just, like, start looking for them now. Slideways hatchling. Eh. Can this roll with multiple perks or no? Iron, iron banner loot, not exactly my forte. Grave robber chain reaction. If I try really hard, okay. Imagine. Slideways chain. I, I Look, I know slideways. You slide into the next one. I get it. I get it. But... I'm not a slideways guy. I'm definitely not a that guy. Slice bait and switch. Interesting. Envious, yeah. Yeah, but Envious like does an auto reload for you. I haven't even seen Envious. I haven't even seen it once. Probably gonna throw a bunch of these in the vault. A grave robber chain again. I at least want the one that I actually want, which is envious chain. With then other stuff I'll experiment with. Okay, realistically, what else am I going to use these engrams on? Let's just buy them. I just forget that I have Grave Robber a lot of the time. So I just don't use it. Pulse, Swash, and Grave Vorpal. All right, well, the hunt continues. Would have been nice to just get that right off the rip, but here we are. Alright, they got six. So, back into solo for me. This is a roller coaster emote. Interesting. Beef stench, I apologize to you, by the way. I have not had a chance to ship out the thing to you. I'm going to do it tomorrow morning. Let's go back to control. Um, change probably the play over hatchling. I just want hatchling because it's hatchling because it's strand. Yeah, I wouldn't mind playing around with it, especially since they made it a little bit better. Okay, is this process for HD? It is process for HD. I'm just going to push this thing live. It's going live. All right. I need some rage in the chat. I be hype. Good afternoon, everyone. What's comf? Alright. Um, let's thank some subs. Speaking of which, we have Master Chief 2020 with five gifted. Thank you very, very much for the five gifted. Very kind of you. That was a little while ago. Omniscient Bacon with 40. Thank you very much for the 40 months there. Bacon. Appreciate that. Lazy Yama with 16 months. 
Shadow Monarch with a tier 3 60 or sorry 76 months giga sub there. Thank you very very much. Orphan Tall bunch of numbers with the 31. Ryul with the 34. Thank you both for the 30s there. John Bot with 19, Sharker with 16. Welcome back teenage subs. Thank you, thank you. Uh, and Aziz with the two years. Thank you very much, Aziz, for the two years of subbing. And we also have Nate with five months of subbing of their own. Thank you very much. We also have Justin Kicker with 100 bits. What sneaker am I copping next? It's probably going to be the military blue Jordan 4s that are coming out in May, I believe. Um, probably those, as opposed to anything that's just kind of like just kind of out there right now i'm not really sure i've slowed down a lot of my sneaker acquisition um recently there just haven't been a ton of things that i've wanted and i've also been much more selective about what um what shoes i've been wanting to add to the collection so I don't know. There's still, like, probably a couple dunks here and there that I would love to go grab. I just couldn't tell you off the top of my head. What size? I wear a size 10. Um, so, yeah. just This is a lot of good fours. A lot of good fours coming out this year that I'm pretty excited about. Wow, nobody. Okay. Brother man has an overshield. Psych, you thought. Never mind, I'm dead. Will there be a video reviewing stuff about this strand GL or probably not? If I can sneak something in, I would like to. Which is kind of why we're grinding today to hopefully get one. But, like, it's a wave frame and it's, like, one of the only strand... How am I so hello? It's like the only strand wave frame. Brother man loves to jump. This guy's gonna enter every engagement 50 meters in the air. Meters. Just give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Where are they at? Get there. Yep. Excuse me. Just realized that was not a great spot to stand either. They got A and C, and they're both on both sides. I will go get the C. Never mind, I will not. As there is a lady and or gentleman here. Like Monte Carlo I'm hearing? The god of flashiness. Oh, we capped A. Okay. Guy thinks he's the stump king. No, I'm dead. Yo, Emerald Spartan, thanks for a couple gifted subs. Enjoy that emblem. Thanks for doing that. run leave leave before the admin bans you i would love to get this power ammo if anything to just keep it away from them okay thought a few more of those shots were gonna be hitting but i guess not Fire! 
huge, huge pickup. Wow, I looked literally every other way except the one that I needed to. How is it diagonally up? Just land horizontal with your horizontal ass. I'm helping. <laughs> okay, at least we help them cap it by keeping them off. Oh, you're behind me now. Oh, you have an overshield. Oh, oh, I just wanted to slide out of the way, bro. Game Maker's Toolkit just put out a cool video on Balatro if I haven't seen it yet. What's the video about? It's about Balatro, huge. I'm scared. What the? Holy spawning here. I will protect A with my life. Never mind. <laughs> I missed. <laughs> Love the video of this. A problem that is frustrating as a creator, but is also very interesting as a game designer. And expose the potential knock-on effects of a seemingly simpler, obvious design change. Did a great job summarizing the issue. Okay. I'll have to check it out. Toes seems to know what it is, so Toes maybe just like link it to me if you know what it is. Or I don't know, somebody, anybody. They're dead. Using, using pulse rifle in the air, bit of a tougher situation. Using golden gun, however, I am dead. What are you doing? Guy, what was that? I don't even know what he was doing. What was he, what was he looking at? Controller probably died, <laughs> imagine. zone Just might as well use them if you got them still got me really like it this T crash off just didn't really see any good opportunities See, Just observing. Yep, trespasser. Trespasser just nuked me out of orbit. Any damage resistance? Be proud of what you've done. 
for this god awful super. Any. Any at all. Literally any. Holy cow. I still have not done a single challenge. <laughs> what is it? Solar strength. It's all the S's, right? It's the s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s I gotta remember to swap. Subclass thing is so stupid. I am inclined to agree because I am not playing that particular subclass right now, and therefore it is annoying and cringe. But when I am playing it, I'm like, this is great. Oh, game already started. At least it just started. Um, do they have a full team? They have five. Okay. Don't know where they are. I don't start with ammo in my shotgun. Call me the janitor. Too far. Got it. This guy's AFK. Cool. All right, just a revolving door of people coming in and out. <laughs> Great stuff here. Oh, don't go too far forward. Nope. Peek it. Peek it. Oh, not you. Oh, of course, of course. What's the role of my prosecutor? Um, exclamation point energy should tell you, I believe. Is it Zen moment uh, target lock? Is that what I have? F? Bro, the whole team was there. The two moments I decide to throw nades, they're all just like walking in and not even looking at me. Oh, you think I'm gonna let you get away with that, bro?
Who? Literally just a guy here with a sword. Didn't see him the whole time. By the way, this hallway is approximately 65 centimeters in diameter. Guy just goes on a triple sword kill. When does the horde mode come out? Next Tuesday. Please, play. It's fine. Moved it like four feet. Hit the yoinky sploinky on that. I'm gonna reload one bullet into my gun because that's just kind of how I roll. Got your help. The tornado is still here. I repeat, the tornado. Three minutes remain. Keep the pressure and you have to. Wow. I actually like the tribute mode. I don't mind it. Another Silence and Squall. And another guy using Trespasser on Vostok. That is a choice. No, they took the ball. Shoot your gun when I'm clicking, bro. Shoot the gun. That is unfortunate. Is this guy dead? You above me? You're above me. There's multiple people using Trespasser. In this very lobby. Plus two. That's a teammate. Went and shot in the ass. I, bro, I can't put any more damage into him. Got behind me. Literally cannot do anything more for this gentleman. And they still get away with murder. Thirty seconds. We're not even at seventy points. <laughs> Everyone hears thirty seconds and is like, "Oh, now we should do." It. I'm going to every time, dude. <laughs> Five seconds. Okay, we're not gonna make it. Cooked. Okay, I just killed a guy that I did not even know was there. That was a double kill. <laughs> Two engrams, let's go!
crests banked seven. What determines these like one these one points? It's like 20, 20, 13, 13. This guy has 12 and 8. I have 7, 7. This guy probably just got here. This GL doesn't exist. I got it pretty early, so LOL. <laughs> I mean, sorry that happened. Uh, Emerald Spartan, again, a couple gifted subs. Thank you very, very much for doing that. Um, Fallout Fernando with 28 months. Uh, SSC with a 10. And Papa Toff with a 13. Welcome back, all re-subscribers. You get double points when you deposit during the hunt. Ew. Ew, 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 ew. Okay. I guess only a couple people deposited during that because there was, like, nothing. The stag this I left because I had to make my uh, or review the the edited video, so I left. Am I dumb for feeling more optimistic about the game lately? No, I think vibes are very very up. I would not call I would not say that you are dumb. I think most people are feeling a bit more optimistic than usual. You know? You're allowed to feel what you want to feel and that's okay. Actually based take on having feelings and emotions. No, I don't think you're dumb at all. Any good weapons for PvP in Iron Banner? I'm sure there are a couple. I don't exactly remember what is exactly for sale exactly from the exact vendor named Saladin. Um, but I'm sure there are, are a couple of things at the least. Uh, margin, thanks for a couple months. Thanks for coming back. Re up and that's up. Also, hi, Tokam. I saw you trying to enter a fake raffle. Joke's on you. Wendy always wins the raffle. Are you behind us? What is with this whole like whole team hit the hits the giga flank? I want that guy. I don't even care. The whole team comes around the entire map. What what happens to just meeting in the middle? What happens if we all just have a cluster in the middle? We all throw all of our abilities all at once in the middle, and whatever happens happens. What happened to that? Hmm. What happened? What happened to the destiny that I know? Where's Wendy? She's not here right now. Guy's got a scout rifle. <laughs> this guy's got the god angle of all god angles. Was I just, like, not even hitting shots there? The drop on that dude and everything. Opponent took the lead.
Really? Depositing two crests, zero special ammo progress? Crests don't count towards special ammo progress? Come on, man. What are we talking about here? What are we talking about here, man? Come on. Also, we're getting our asses kicked, and these are the exact same people from the last game. So what are we doing? I'm gonna get Giga Fl Ah, never mind. Ah, they both jump out at the same time, bro. Yeah, wasn't the last game like kinda close and then they shuffled the teams and put me on the team that is now down 50 points? What happened? Is this another classic you're doing too good so we're gonna put you on the bad team situation? Because that's kind of what it feels like. Symmetry. I don't even know if I can be mad legally at that. Please. Really what I shouldn't do is put these in because that's just going to stall out the game longer. We ball. Oh, I wanted that one so bad. Still got it. Guys chasing. Really, dude? Really? Back to back solo supers? Really? Twenty four to eighty nine with the exact same people. What happened, man? What happened? Symmetry's always been based. Don't get me wrong. I love... Symmetry might be, like, one of my favorite weapons that I literally never use. I just don't see it in PvP. Literally at all. But there are people out here unironically using scout rifles right now in in pvp so it leads me to believe that either number one people are crazy or number two i'm missing something
Cammy made a Mida video. Probably cool guy's video. Cool guy made a video on symmetry. You can use Jade Rabbit and never miss. If I never missed with any gun that I was using, I really wouldn't have to care about meta anything. <laughs> Saw a video on Twitter of someone destroying the other team with symmetry. Yeah, but like that's like a, I assume that's a revved up symmetry. Like that's one that you revved it up and you changed the mode and now you're just like shooting those giant shots, right? It's not just like a regular, just like plink, 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 plink. Cause you can do that with any scout. F it, we ball. Depending on the map. Map dependent, we ball. Okay, we ball. Are the new Multimock and GL just random drops to unlock? Uh, the GL definitely is. I assume if you don't have Multimock, it's probably the same conditions. Staying in Guam in the swamps. Yeah, I'm still probably going to play in the middle. I'm going to schnooze that ad. Play an ad after uh, we're done here. Dun, 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 dun. Nobody again? Nobody peeking this? It's actually been forever since I played Control. Hello, sorry about that. Controlled on this map specifically. I forgot B was out there. That guy's literally dead. As is my teammate. Okay, we need to back the F up. And that guy's out. Wonderful day, Guardian. Where is this guy? Charge dynamic X3. Here we go. Gonna take all game to charge this up. Mainly because I can't find anybody. What in the F? I'm gonna use it now. Guy hit three in a row on me. Zone C lost. Zone A captured. You have the advantage. Press on. You're pulling ahead. That effing flinch was crazy, dude. I just got flinched out of my gourd. Zone B lost. And I don't even own gourds. Yoink, mine now. I didn't even hit that guy. What? No gourds. Yeah, unfortunately, the map is designed or the the 
points are designed in a way where I don't feel like a lot of people are going to be going up the middle. Which is kind of annoying. I literally can't see. Okay, no one over here anymore. Never mind, we're dead. The one time I want to be a scout rifle gremlin on this map, nobody's in the middle, and no one's fighting in these interior areas. on A, not enough to cap it. Yeah, like they're all going to be a B. This is no angles. Okay, we're done. We're done. I'm done with that. I would like to play the video game now. Huge. Was I not right on that dude's noggin? Was I not right on his cranial? They both managed to peek at the same time, dude. How? Every time. Uh. Hi, Dad. Rather keep playing this or put on the first wet clothes of the burn. Oh man. How do I manage to find like every super in the game, bro? Every single one. At least I didn't even use my T crash on that one. Get me off of this map! Get me out! Literally just cut that map in half and make two maps. You smell me? Just cut it in half. And make two. 
better use of that map. Long ways or short ways? Short ways. Uh, Kota, thank you very much. Seven months of subbing. Colby with 58 months of subbing. And Tiflo with a prime subscription. Thank you very, very much for the primer. Wonderful day, Guardian. Thanks for priming. Well, Golem, you can tell them GG back. A lot of people only showing up in the chat when they win against me. Not a lot of people showing up when they lose. It's kind of sus, if you ask me. Statistically speaking, I keep a log in my head. Uh, Mrs. Namikaze with the nine months. Thank you very much. No, I didn't. That wasn't targeted at you. That was just a general statement. It's just a general statement that I tend to notice. Not targeted at you. Is it normal to get literally no weapons from like 20 rounds of this? Apparently it is because I've seen that complaint a, a few times. I've been getting like a, a random weapon drop, just like a pure weapon every what, like two to three games, maybe? I haven't really been paying attention. But I've gotten, like, I don't know. We got, like, a terrible bite of the fox a couple times. We got the GL. We got, um... We, I think we got, like, one other thing. Any Balotro today? I would have played Balotro today if I wasn't doing Iron Banner with Jez and Danielle in, like, two hours. Here we go, jab four. I will give this another shot. Just one. Shooting it one time. If it's a headshot, the stream ends. That's how I will sub for the rest of my life if you do a cyberpunk playthor. A playthor? The thumbnail's a big hit in the comment section. Nice. This is not control. Okay. Stream's over. Nah, that's all right. It's not April Fool's Day anymore, so. I don't have text. Thank you. Did I just hear a ward cliff coil? What was it 2015? Okay, don't go in there. Alright, there's two people. Symmetry is kind of correct. If you can find like the three tiny little precision zones on the map that enable you to make it pop off, then I suppose. What do you think? I'm just going to let you get that for free there, opposable thumbs? The problem is I feel like pretty much anywhere where you can fight with this thing, at least on this particular map, other people can very easily challenge you regardless of whatever weapon... That you are using. Forgot I had this. One teammate went in and fought an opponent, and then three opponents came out.
Like, I would love to fight, like, one of these sight lines is, like, where I should be fighting. And nobody is showing up anywhere. Oh, this got a lot of crests. Okay, we should dunk those. No! Got him. Goink, goink, goink. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. you are in Massive nade. I respect it. Watch him behind, watch him behind. I'm gonna go all the way around. I am no longer going all the way around. I'm going all the way around. What? Why are you flying your nuts in my face, teammate? Jesus Christ, you scared the shit out of me. Oh my god, destroyed. My radar is just bright red in the center. Dude's just flying into me. I stalled in that pillar there. Hoping to get around it. I just ran right into it instead. <laughs> Have a shotgun? Let's reload that. Come on. Someone's, someone's got to peek this angle at some point, man. When I'm paying attention. Oh, here we go. We farm. We farm. Oh, yeah. We're farming. No. Activate thing. Here we go. No. I'm going to die. Ugh, I couldn't get out of the way. Thoughts on four-day rep boost ramp up. Are you talking about the fact that we need to do four days of challenges to get maximum rep? I feel like we can... Probably be done with that. Personally, on a personal level. Um, I need to switch to solar. Hi. Deposit any depositors? Alright, it's not worth it. No. Hit him with the psyche thought. Aw. Oh, ran right into the hammer. Hey Datto, hope your day is going better than those who are complaining about not getting their three hour bungee stream watch emblem. This game, I, I just, I couldn't get anybody to, to come into my line of sight. Like, I could not find the angles to get this thing cooking as much as I wanted to. Just wasn't, wasn't making it happen. This guy, 43 months, people complain about not getting the three hour Bungie stream watch emblem. Here, here's what I would tell them, is that literally a way, way, way better emblem is showing up next week. So get that one instead. <laughs> it's so much better. Ah.
but it's not rare. Next week's is going to be so much more rare. How can you get a three-hour emblem when they stream maximum one hour? Well, they did it three times, and last time I checked my math, three times one is three. So the whole point was to watch every single stream. But then they ended the first stream early, so they made the next two streams go an hour and a half. So if you made any progress, you should have been able to get it if you were there for every stream. Can I, I don't know if the emblem has been dropped into my account. I claimed it on Twitch. I don't know if it's entered my account yet because I claimed it while I was still in game. So I might need to reset my game. We'll see. Um, it's like a red one, right? I'm not seeing it. I don't think it's that. I think it's that. Um, just switch characters will show up. All right, next game. Cauldron. Ugh. I, I just have to go like SMG for this map. Yeah, I mean, I don't really care about the, the emblem that much. Are they just all chilling outside? I don't really care about it that much because I'm always going to use something different anyway. I'm not going to use any of those. So it's just kind of like whatever. Data find an opponent to shoot challenge. You have an overshield. Woo! We are going to get literally cooked this whole game. I can feel it. The PvE god roll for the new GL. I am hunting for Envious uh, Chain. There are some deconstruct users. I'm still on freaking solar, bro. Oh, great. Frost is in my game. Just what I needed. Great matchmaking, by the way. There's just there's just three of them. This guy's got heavy ammo. Another person can have heavy ammo. What is with the complete lack of like SMG users right now? Like everyone's on a pulse. No one no one's on no one's on SMGs. This is like the most SMG map of all time and everyone's rocking pulses. Open. Fantastic. And 
entire team. You know, enemy team, you you shoot them. Have a Helio with heal slash cl kill clip yet? No. I've won with heal clip incandescent, but it's just been rotting in my postmaster. I'm never gonna get special ammo for like the rest of the game, by the way. What? Oh my god. I thought a teammate was bumping me. It was the game. Re really can't have nothing. If I open this door, I'm just getting a team shot in. I mean, what do you even do, man? I can't find any 1v1 engagements. Entire team just dying. I think Crouchy McCroucherton out here. Did I win last game? Does anybody know if I won last game? Is this just punishment for winning a game? Dado try to see his enemy challenge. Please, I'm offering. Just put it in. He's got three. He's got four shots. I mean, he, never mind. I sh that shouldn't surprise me at all. I've gotten four shots the whole game. He just used four of them on me right now. What hammer am I using? What happened? Why are they throwing now? I wanted this game to be over. No, the thing left. <laughs> oh god. They're all full health. Everyone's full health. How? Everybody. They're all full. They're all full HP. This turret is also still up. Yeah, I accidentally grabbed this one.
Wrong button. This is supremacy, but you actually have to dunk your crests. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Is it um, workshop, lab, whatever? No, it's Iron Banner. There's no use in me trying to go for these. Okay. Because there's literally the entire enemy team over there. One minute. I have just no entry. <laughs> and they're just gonna dump them all in and just insta win. Yep, just like that. Do they dump their own? Just any crest that you pick up, you dunk them in there. Even your teammates? Well, no. Whatever you pick up, you dunk it in the thing. You, you're holding a bunch. Mm. I'm just saying, there were a whole bunch of red crests on the ground. Yeah, you picked those up. Right, but the enemy team did because nobody... Picked. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, there's no blue crests. They're all red. There we go. I'm I'm there now. Yeah. It's not Most creepy. balanced uh, lobby in Iron Banner, right there. Didn't Steam just go down? Um, it's Tuesday at three o'clock on the West Coast, which means Steam does their maintenance. It happens every Tuesday. VM Vort VM Vortex fifty two. Phantom with 46. Thank you both very much. This guy again, 43 months. Thank you. And Crimsy with the 30. And Born to Sweat. Thanks for priming. And every Tuesday, somebody asks in chat. I know. Steam must still be doing really well. I did my nails. Oh, nice, buddy. Wait, you did them? Yeah. Oh, wait, are these the press ons? Mm -hmm. Okay, I was going to say. That's what they say. It's like they are very uniform so either you got really good at this <laughs> or they are not real no they are press -ons. dinks nobody from bungie's contacted me about putting me in the game yet wow i can't believe that i'm really upset about it wow did you see the thumbnail? Yeah, it's a good thumbnail, buddy. Thanks, buddy. That's the one that I want to do with you if we do the thing in California. Mm. You get it now? Yeah. Let me see. Banner emblem? <sighs> I forgot. Pet the, br pet the brain. He being a plopper. He being a ploppins. When you're done texting, can you plop them? I mean, can you text? Can you can you pet them? Yeah. Would I ever get set on fire again, or was it a one and done for me? I don't have any ambitions to be lit on fire again, but like, I don't know. I would. I would. It's not like I'm like afraid of it. Oh, tubs. Oh, the big young. Brim is getting pets, I assure you. I'm gonna get your little beak, Brim. A chomp. I got a chomper. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I'm not opposed to doing it again. But I'm also not motivated to go do it again. You know? Like if Danielle was like, you want to get lit on fire again. How many months? Is it a hundred? A hundred months? Did I say a hundred? If Danielle was like, hey, do you want to go get lit on fire again? We have to fly across the country again to do it. I'd be like, I'm good. Mainly because YouTube will probably block my effing video again. And I'll be very annoyed. Frick Saga, thank you very much for Prime subscribing. 
And T-Rex dropping a hundo, joining a very exclusive, elusive, conclusive club. Welcome back. Dropping. For a hundo. What it's like to get electrocuted. That I don't want to experience. <laughs> that one, I'm good. I don't know if you can stunt your way out of that one. Oh, Brim, love carrot. Oh, Brim, love carrot. So give me the carrot so I can chomp. Um, munch, 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 munch. You're a little munch, grabby munch. there, Brim. Munch, 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 munch. A munch, 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 munch. Definitely the same lobby. Get me out. Not playing against Frost again. Yeah, Brim crunching Wait, really? on some Were carrots. You? Yeah, I just played against... No, none of these people are, by the way, ever on my team. I'm always playing against them. There's never... I cannot recall a game recently where I was like, Oh, yeah, so-and-so's on my team. That's great. Yeah, all right, cool. It's always like, great, I'm playing against Walla. Great, I'm playing against Frostbolt. Great, I'm playing against Jake. Great, I'm playing against blah, blah, blah. They're never on my team. Give me this chomper, Brim. Give me that chomp. When the exotic rotator was released, they said legendary missions were going to drop. Do you know if Bungie mentioned this for the exotic missions? Um, um no. no. I don't think they mentioned Wonderful that. Day, Guardian. That's a hug. Rim? You love carrot. You love carrot. Yeah, I saw. Imagine if your streamer handle was what's his name? <laughs> Be a good name. Top Sparky. 37 months of subbing. Thank you very much for the 37. Who would win in an arm wrestle between you and me? You've been working out a lot, so I don't know. You might still win. All I have is just, like, the natural muscle from being a man. That's that's all I have. Gentle. There's no There's no workout muscle here. There's no strength training. It's just, like, testosterone. here I am, literally just testosterone. Fueling my muscles, that's it. Whereas Danielle has been aggressively working out for like the past year, so I don't know. Hell yeah, dude's wrong. <laughs> First April Fool's Day didn't cosplay. Well, it fell on a Monday, so I wasn't streaming on Monday. And also, I was very, very big sad yesterday, and I was also very big. I don't want to stream today, so. Wonderful day, Guardian. See if I can Muscle make it up music. somehow. That's what I'm saying. It's the crouch god with the sidearm hanging around the corner. Every time, man. Every time. Not talking to you. Oh, that hit him. It's not doing a lot, but it hit him. There you go.
Oh, we got it. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, they're still spawning here. I'm dead. I don't have my shoulder charge. I don't have my shoulder charge anymore because I have to play on this stupid subclass. Ah! Bro, I gave you like 60 damage. You couldn't finish the job, man? Just switch. I just I forget, man. I'd rather just get it done. Freaking hammer! Ugh, I'm switching. Just yell at me. F. I can't do it. Where's the deposit? Okay. Your opponent pulls ahead. Okay, well, not going that way. Why are they both on that side? What the cringe? Wow, you're literally dead. Okay. Dude. I can't deposit, bro. We have no map control. Got him. You want to talk to? No, I'm good, buddy. What is your opinion on best endgame Titan subclass? Uh, it depends on what you're doing. I would say, uh, yeah, yeah, they can see Brim. Oh, munch, 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 munch. Oh, he crunching. Oh, he do be doing a crunch. He crunch. That was a little treat for the raiders. I can't find a single person. They're all just crammed in this corner. I saw you on fire. That was wow. <laughs> Thanks. Please. <laughs> oh my god. A lot of people said that my performance corner. was much better than yours. I would hope so. Right now. It still feels good, okay? Something that I'm better at than you. <laughs> I gotta hold on to Cross it. Raiders, welcome. I'm here sucking ass in Iron Banner. So, like, you know, pretty usual stuff from me. Just whiffing shots left and right. Just out here losing literally every game. Huh? This guy just moonwalked. What, where, what is this guy doing? What are you doing? My crests are full. Leave. No, it's gonna go away. No, yes. Oh, Th that guy was waiting that whole time to throw a tangle at me. Thoughts on carrots. Brim loves them. So this is the kind of gameplay you can expect here is just uh, people chasing me down literally the whole time with no regard for their own yeah. life. 
uh, so that they can come into the stream after the game is over and just said, uh, GG, just played you. Uh, did literally everything that I could to try to come kill you so I can get a clip for my friends. Um, but GG, though. I'm a tier 3 sub. I'm first 100 viewers on... Uh, first 100 subs on YouTube, and I watch every stream, and I watch every YouTube video, and I've uh, bought every piece of merch that you own. GG just played your eyes the tangle. Do we go in? Three minutes left. is not shot yet. What's going on? Shoot the gun. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Is it over? It's over. Okay. I kind of whiffed. Oh, crunch, 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 munch, munch, munch. That's a quiv. That's just a quiv. That is just a quiver that has been planted onto the wall with no reason or rhyme. Quiver? <laughs> Who am I? A quiver? Right. That guy dropped a quiver? I was, I was you. Yeah, no, I know. That was me. That was me. Yeah, that was, I was, that was hamming it up. Yeah. Oh, were you? Yeah, you weren't actually genuinely reacting because you were mad. My genuine reaction to being quivered? Mm hmm. Dad, why? What, what are you all? What are you? Got your help? No. Yep. I guess Dad trolls me. The wide swing. You know I like him wide. What the fuck? What's that supposed to mean? What my hamburgers? Bruh. Yeah, everyone says mm, wide hamburgers, delicious. Massive blade barrage. We're going in on that. Literally killed nobody. Wow, that guy is dead. Nice save. <laughs> One minute remains. Nice. I just, I just wanted to get that. Worst super of all time off. Where the over there? God, they're always over on that side. <laughs> Just no chance to even try to put your crests in, bro. Nah, that was wishful thinking. Dude, can we can we get a, like a, a slightly better split on the where the things go? We had no shot that whole game because more than half the time they were just not on their side of the map. I'll give it to you. Top score, buddy. Um, yeah, great. <laughs> you did so good. No, I really didn't. Yeah, I did. But I never top scored. That's, that's okay. a lie. <laughs> that's a lie. That's also a lie. Here's what here's what can make into the light perfect. You guys ready? You hear that? You hear that going off right now? Oh my fucking Christ, yes. You hear that going off? Gameplay. Social. Text chat. Mute text chat chest text chat notifications. Wait, is it in is there something in sound? That'd be crazy. No. Yeah, you're right. Fuckers.
turn it back on. I am not turning on clan chat. You're out of your mind. Clan chat is the worst thing about new DLC releases. It's nonstop. I wouldn't mind if I didn't have to hear bling, 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 bling. Like, I can see the notification down here. Right. This is enough. This is enough. It's enough. I don't need to hear bling, 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 bling. Just give me an option to turn it off. I'm not turning it back on. Really smug. Top Sparky, 37. Survival Impaired, also 37. Uh, 68 from Target Dummy. Thank you very much, Target Dummy. Times Crusader with a primer. Thank you very much, Prime 7. Thank you very much. Distant Shore, huh? All right, I will again try. No, that fixes all my... Uh, I'm freaking... God damn it. And I didn't switch at the end of the game, too. Everything's fine. Everything's great. Everything's really good and fun and good. What didn't you switch to? I didn't switch to a solar subclass because it's solar strand and and so 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 yeah, one out of five. That's all you get. That's the most I'm willing to give. They're going to flank me. I knew it. I knew it, but I couldn't look that way because the moment I turned around to the other guy, I was going to get shot in the face by the guy from the freaking middle because no one was going to be watching the middle. So quite a conundrum I was in. The game sense, is it an S tier, S plus tier? The aim sense? Uh, you. Probably about a D plus. Yeah, run back. No, why? See, every time. I don't look at there. I don't look there. They just walk right in. If I don't look there, they walk right in. So I got to be the guy to watch this every time. Okay, well, we're dead. I wasn't expecting that to do that much damage, so I should have followed up. What's considered the best PvP subclass for Titan in PvP? Probably Void, because you can just spam overshields wherever you want and just win all the time. Please hit. Thank you. Holy cow, there's a lot of people. Slowest reload of all time. Can't buy a bucket. Cannot buy a bucket. I am about to get off this thing. Oh my god. It's like, I, I, sw I swear, it's like they only peek. It's like they only peek when I, when I stop looking. 
Symmetry ass, by the way. Ass. Another fantastic lobby. Spawning behind me, guy rushing me. Oh my god, bow guy. <sighs> nice crest. Don't worry, another three more years and I'll have my super. Yes? No? Five minutes remaining. Can I help you? Can, Can I you repeat the question? No, you can't climb up into my lap and therefore I can get it The father is busy. Nope. <laughs> Surrounded. That's a chompy. You can't climb up here. Because then you're going to try to get across me. Am I excited for this mode today? Uh, Say no. I just feel like anytime that anyone puts the, sure. the word excited and the word destiny in a question directed at me, it's the same answer. I don't get excited about destiny things anymore. As soon as I cross over here, everybody turns around and kills me. Oh, no, that's another person. There's nobody here. Why? Literally, all you have to do is just go there the whole time, and then you just win. There's also control. Okay. What in the coordinated enemy team? I'm just gonna go T-Crash in the frickin' middle. If I can get there. That was... That was desperate. Not dead. Suros regime. Am I pogging? I've lost like six games in a row, so no.
I didn't kill that guy? I can't believe- I stopped shooting. I thought I killed him. <sighs> Change yourself, guys. Thanks. Hang on, guys. Got it! Uh, so much. This is just a tribute. Wonderful day, God. What do I even really need rep for? Really? Yay. I already got the thing to drop. I just need engrams. I need as many engrams as possible. This is... Uh, here, and here, and here. Rep gives you engrams. Guys, that's just semantics, okay? Just semantics. Wait. Oh, it's earned points. I thought it was... I thought it was just win. So I should be playing as solo this. I shouldn't be switching. Unless points is just like a euphemism for like you win or you lose. No one wanted to drop that info on me? Y'all out here telling me to switch. That's like the worst time to do it. 